Good afternoon. Happy Saturday, everybody. All right. Time for some DQ5. Um, this has not been a good week of practice for DQ5. <laughs> so, I'm hoping that my RNG today is something significantly different than what I've had for the past seven days. Last week's run was horrendous. And then all of my practice this week, basically, the worst thing that can happen happened at every turn. So, surely, we've gotten that all out of the way, and now we can have good luck. That's the goal. All good luck from here. Free PB. <laughs> just kidding. Today, I would be happy just finishing the game. Just based on the way things have been going. Alrighty. All set up. Do this. Two, one, go. Oh, well, this is a good start. Perfect. I switched, um, I switched ASCII pads because uh, this one has a slightly stiffer D-pad on it, and it kind of helps with the, the town walking a little bit. It doesn't do the up and down half steps quite as easily. So, trying that out. Got the other one right here for a quick swap just in case there are other issues with it. I stopped using it a while ago, and I'm, I don't 100% remember why it was. It might have just been because the D-pad was too stiff for long runs. Hurting my thumb, but I have my gloves on today, so hopefully that won't be an issue. Couple arbitrary story triggers to get the boat moving here. <laughs> Went left a half step too soon. I'm hoping mainly to have a decent Gen 1 today. Last few weeks, my Gen 1, actually, I think the last like four or five weeks, my Gen 1's been pretty bad. I was pretty consistently sitting right around one hour, and then lately I've been dying to the Ghost, been dying to Ice Queen, been dying in Santa Rosa Cave, dying in the Ancient Ruins. Sitting around 105. Ash. Thanks. I will hopefully have fun this week. I mean, I had fun last week and everything went poorly, so having fun seems like a safe bet. Yeah, last week, everything went really bad, all the way up to the wedding, so... I said, screw it, and I married Bianca. 
And I was just like, well, we'll just do a Bianca run. Without any prep. No agility seeds, nothing. Just marry the girl and go. And I died a half step outside of Granvania and decided to call the run. Because that's basically the biggest time loss in the game. Because it sends you all the way back to Ned's Inn and you have to go through the entirety of the path to Jizod all over again. gets one or two attacks per turn. Hey, free herb. Alright. A good start. A peace offering from the game. Yeah, also the last four runs I've done, I've had zero encounters on the El Capa walk. <laughs> so I've been short on money for at least the past month. I've had as many as four encounters on that walk, so having so many zero encounter walks is pretty nuts. No, I don't want four encounters, because that's a huge waste of time. I just want one good encounter. One encounter with five goblin rats is perfect. Right behind that, or probably tied with that, would be the two panther cubs and two mad plants. Pretty good money, and potentially two turns. Yeah, recently I've gone back to fighting in the cave, at least until I get level 3. Although, if there was a day to not do it, this would be the one with that extra herb drop. As long as you hit level 3 before leaving Santa Rosa, um, you have MP for heal as soon as you level up. Because you don't recover- you do recover MP during the rest before leaving Santa Rosa, you do not recover MP at the inn in, uh, in El Capa prior to going to the castle. As inconsiderate Bianca wakes you up during your REM sleep. And we all know, REM sleep is when you regenerate MP. Okay, well, and then I'm going to end up using an herb on slimes. <laughs> sure. That was a lot of early damage. Don't fight Drakies before getting the leather shield. Don't fight whack-a-moles. Ever. 
They can crit, and they will crit for 10 damage, which at this point is a lot of damage. Ah, a little roll that damage. I guess there is one time it's okay to fight the moles. If you are, like, one fight away from leveling up, and you're at the Traveler's Clothes at the bottom, you can go ahead and fight them and let them soften you up a little bit. We'll take two hits each. So, you just hope you don't take 40 damage. <laughs> There's a pretty low chance you take 40 damage in four turns. Hey, heck. Crash wagon. Hopefully we don't marry Trash Wagon today, because that means things have gone wrong again. <laughs> Decent fight. Yeah, I got an herb drop from the three slimes right outside the port today. I already used it because I massively failed running from three slimes at the top floor of the cave. Very slow cave, lots of encounters. Give me a good death warp encounter. Bunnies. Eh, one bunny is good. Two would have been better, but I'll take a bunny. That's just a hand-woven cape. Uh, we're gonna sell that in Alcapa for more herb money. We're stealing people's clothes so we can go buy drugs. Right. Now hopefully today we get an encounter. I'm over the last four or five. Basically, if I get a good encounter, uh, gold reward-wise, I can keep Bianca's shield and it makes the castle a lot safer. The beginning of the castle is very dangerous if I don't get any encounters here. Okay. Oh, beautiful. This is what I want to see. Okay, Papa keeps taking single actions. Making that fight take as long as possible. Sixty-five gold, and we get heal already. Oh, so during practice, 
the other day. I, uh, I got a holy water as a drop in the castle. <laughs> I used it after Bianca ran out of MP on Boss Ghost. Uh, get more damage than a boomerang will normally do. It's actually kind of nice. Who's the kill shot? Yeah, she probably would have. I was very low on health and wanted to make absolutely sure that she threw it. But no, I get to keep the shield. It's been so long since I've been able to keep the shield, I completely forgot it was an option. Buy herbs until my gold is at 364 or lower. Mm. Hot lid. Eat it. How did I move now? I'm talking about this one. Yep, the ever important pot lid. It's amazing how much difference that pot lid makes. <laughs> Hey, SK, thanks for the good luck. Hard video game. That's one way to describe it, especially this last week. I have not finished a run in seven days. Not even in practice. <laughs> like, I was doing some Evil Mountain practice on my save file from last week, and I just... I kept dying in Evil Mountain in ways that I've never died before. I had a six run fail at one point. Which ties my personal best. Not forgetting these this week. Losing a bit of time on this split because the Santa Rosa cave was extremely slow and I had the a slow five goblin rat encounter on the walk here. Office did not want to double attack. But I'm in really good shape equipment wise. I've got the shield and I've got extra herbs. I've toyed with the idea, if you get, like, two good financial encounters, take a few less herbs, and then, um, use the defense seed on hero instead of selling it. You basically have to get, like, the goblin rat encounter, and then one more encounter that's, like, 20 plus gold. Being level 4 before coming in here is always nice. This encounter sucks. I'm gonna defend in here until Hero wakes up. Almost in there. Don't get poisoned. 
Although the poison really doesn't matter. It doesn't tick while you're inside the castle, and we'll learn antidote when we get out of here. The time you really don't want poison is if you run into babbles on the walk here, which I've been buying the holy water recently to skip all the overworld encounters. Because I've had several times where like you get poisoned on like the first or second encounter walking up, and you you use an herb or two before you even get to the castle, and that's just terrible. It's slow, it's a waste of resources. Not good. Theoretically, this should be a free time save. Because I'm pretty sure I died to the ghost. I might have died twice in the castle on my PB. I died once to trash and then again to the ghost. Ooh. That's dangerous, but we're gonna go. Really hoping that both of the Night Whips would die. But yeah, with Bianca asleep, it's dangerous because you can't have her defending. All's well that ends well. Oh, scary. Stop hitting hero. Stop hitting hero. Okay, well this is a really bad spot because... Bianca has to heal hero. <laughs> and then hope she doesn't die, and she's dead. Hero go fast. Or go last, that's fine. Too. You, can, you can go last if you want to. <laughs> Thanks, hero. Appreciate it. So that's unfortunately experience that Bianca missed, but we had decent encounters up to this point, so we're not losing too much time there. I mean, really, that one might not even make a difference at all, because you usually end up having to grind an extra fight or two to get Hero to level 6 as well, depending on what encounters you get. The extra strength from hitting level 6 helps speed up the fight. And Bianca will hit 6 before Hero. Although, with a Goblin Rat encounter, that might not have been an issue. But, whatever. Here we are. Should have used a nerve from Hero's inventory there. I'm gonna have to swap it over later. level on Bianca before the Mad Candle fight. At level 5, she learns Surround. Which, honestly, isn't doesn't always work for me. <laughs> I've done that fight with her at level 4 before, and it was basically no different, but it's a lot safer, for sure, at, uh, at level 5. Reherb. 
two herb drops I've gotten so far. Most of the encounters on that floor are kind of a waste of time because you end up with the art weasels and babbles. Aren't really worth a whole lot, but they're very problematic. And you can get the seven Draki encounter, which is great. close to five. If I, you know, I'll grind one fight right here. If that doesn't get it, then I'll just fight something on the way to the count, uh, candles. Seventeen, good roll. This will probably level her up, though. I opened the door, right? Pretty sure I opened the door. Right, hey, look, Drakis. This is actually really good to get at this level because it could only be a two round fight and they do no damage. Yeah, good old Femdrac. 28 XP. For no effort. No danger. Yeah, one of the reasons I've been trying to get my, uh... I've been trying to get better graphical quality on my GameCube is I would like to do some more Dragon Warrior Monsters runs. Femdrac sounds too close to Femdrac. <laughs> yeah. It really does. Maybe they were meant for each other. Yeah, I could probably outspeed it and kill it. Oh, or outspeed it and not kill it. Works too. Stop killing my hero, please. They're fine. Alright, well, we don't have to worry about getting hero to six. And Bianca will probably level up off of the candle fight now. Hey, Northrex, thanks for the good luck. Good luck will be needed for Pierre. Indeed. I'm already committed to it. a hit, and one miss. There we go, we got a few misses, look at that. We're not actually kind of working today. Unusual. Cool. 
So we're done with fights. We don't have to do anything anymore. Certain fights I'll still take just because they're probably safer to... Okay, I'm actually not gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna run from this one just because of my health situation. It's safer to fight than run in general. Especially if they drop herbs. No. Uh, I'm gonna use one herb on hero just to be safe. If Bianca dies, it's no big deal. We've got all the experience she needs. Totally safe to run from. <laughs> Everything's safe to run from on the first ride. Hey, Polenteris. Actually, good luck, have fun. Alright. Now, assuming nothing goes wrong here, we get a nice big fat time save. And then they're gonna kill the hero, aren't they? <laughs> you know, triple run fail. Well, remember what I said about unless things go wrong. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Jeez. Okay, so now I'm short on herbs. I just lost a whole bunch of gold. Ridiculous. Tempting to just reset the run right now, honestly. But I'm not going to. I'll still go. Chances are the castle will go worse than this. This just means I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting leather armor for sure. Well, I have the Traveler's clothes. I didn't have to sell them this time, so... I could just not buy armor at all, and that'll keep me with the option of uh, leaving the Mystic Acorn until Gen 2. Because I've done all of Gen 1 with the plain clothes before, so it's not that big of a deal. It'll depend on how much gold we've got when we get there. So what we want to see is a lot of Rukani and a lot of Miss. <laughs> hey, there we go. That's what we're looking for here. Hey, he's got two actions he can choose from on each turn, and so far he's been, oops, so far he's been selecting the right actions. Okay, now I'm actually gonna. Manual so I can have her defending. Ooh, that outspeed is a little scary going into this turn. Okay. Good job, Bianca. Okay, we're good. Easy. And that's how bad this was last time. <laughs> I saved three minutes off this. Bianca will usually outspeed the ghost there. So it's always terrifying when she doesn't. <laughs> well, the reset was less about time and more about the money. The gold routing in Gen 1 is extremely tight. So. 
I'm definitely not going to be getting scale armor. I'll decide on if I'm getting the leather armor or keeping the traveler's clothes once we get there. Nothing will go wrong from here? Pretty much. I mean, that's, that's the last of the RNG in the run. From here on out, the game is basically scripted. Wait. That's not right. <laughs> Unless the script just says, get screwed over, over and over and over and over. Welcome to the party, Barongo. I'm not used to having this many herbs left. We are pretty short on gold. Yeah, I left one herb on Bianca, because I rarely go through all the herbs, and I'm generally going to end up throwing that one away. So, not doing it now saves me a, a menu of passing it over and deleting it later. Because the only things I, could, I get to take into Gen 2 are what are in Hero's inventory at the end of the Ancient Ruins, and herbs are not important enough to bring. Now, if we get a good money encounter here, we might still... No, no, we're definitely not getting... Never mind. <laughs> Leather armor should be fine. Um, no way to get the scale mail at this point, so no encounters there is ideal. I think I would have to get, like, two goblin rat encounters. Even have a shot at the, at the chain mail at this point. Meet the creepy fairy in our basement. Be whisked off to a magical world. <clears throat> oh, Anatola, you're the perfect person to ask this question. How much does leather armor cost in Dragon Warrior 4? Because for some reason I had it stuck in my head that it was 250 gold, and it's not. And I'm trying to figure out if that was in a different game that I was running. <laughs> maybe, it was, maybe it was Dragon Quest 3. Yeah, it might be Dragon Quest 3. Don't, you don't buy leather armor in 4. I think it might be the safety strats from Romilly? 180? Okay. That's the same here. Yeah, I might be thinking of Dragon Quest 3. I think it might be 250 gold in Romilly. Which would be a weird thing for that to suddenly insert itself into my brain, because I haven't run 3 in quite a while. I mean, I've been playing it for the uh, GBC version metal collection lately, but... I didn't buy leather armor for that. Uh. Yeah, it could also just be a random number that popped into my head for absolutely no reason. Yep. 
know what? I'm just gonna keep the gonna keep the traveler's clothes. It's fine. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> well, sorry, Pierre. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> I'm. I think I'm remembering why I stopped using this controller. The D-pad is a little bit tighter, which kind of throws off the, the scrolling a little bit. <laughs> It'll be fine. Half the time I end up selling that anyway. <laughs> yeah, the worst thing about using the, the life force nut there is just you feel stupid. But that's hardly fatal. It'll make Ice Queen a little bit safer. Not by much, but just a little bit. It wasn't a turbo thing, so no, you did not miss a smart opportunity. I, I'm using a different ASCII pad than normal because the D-pad on this one is a little bit stiffer, which makes town walking easier. Downside is I have to be a little bit more careful on my menus. I missed a down input. It was an error error, not a deep ad error or a turbo error. <laughs> you know, I could grab that agility seed now, but oh well, we're already past it. I've got room to take one extra item to Gen 2 now. Wonder what it will be. Probably nothing. There you go. That's the proper description. I mean, I might just grab the Mystic Nut now. Well, not now, but when I'm in Reinhardt. Thanks, Bella. That was useful. Because... It is a bit out of the way, that would make sure that I get it as soon as I pick up Pierre. Which would give me more MP for the underground. Good cave here. Uh, you know, honestly, I probably don't even have to unequip that for this death war. <laughs> it's just the traveler's clothes. Xbox, the one Xbox, one Xbox joke. Yeah. Okay, well that's nice. I uh, don't have to worry about her healing me, which means I don't have to. Well, I'll, I'll still change my tactics. Not to that though. Don't kill it. So close. Well, while I'm thinking about it, I'll just go ahead and put my armor back on now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it after the Death Warp anyway. Come on, give me something. Oh. I switched over to B a little bit early because... I forgot Bella revives. Well, that was a decent cave with a bad death warp. Kind of evens out. Now 
probably just need a gentle ice queen. I'd go get armor now. Since I'm walking past the shop, but I don't think it's a I think it's gonna be a problem. Out speeding Bella. That's a little bit weird. Makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> Only one MP dream. And we got out of here with everybody at full HP. Or, I think everybody's at full, actually. Makes the first round of this a lot more comfortable. <laughs> Miss Brookin on number one. Brain shut down and I miss menu death. This is dumb. Well, she really wanted Bronco dead, apparently. Well, this is gonna be a long fight. That 4 HP on Hero is gonna really come in handy now. How do you heal Bronco? Still dealing with a little bit of brain fog from being sick this week. <laughs> it's showing up on this fight. I'm gonna blame that. about defending on hero that turn. Uh, hopefully fine. Don't kill hero. Okay. turn just in case she outspeeds on the heavy damage turn. Like that. <laughs> Low we'll fight without Barango, but a win's a win. Could have been much worse. Yeah, 
Yeah, to be honest, losing Brongo that early, I wasn't completely sure if I was going to win or not. Uh, I was leaning toward not winning that fight. <laughs> hey, Arius. Thank you. Like, my first thought losing Barongo that early is, okay, just wipe the fight and get back quickly. I was just like, I think I can do it. What, do, what extra item do I want to bring into? I would normally say the magic water, but I ended up using that. <laughs> I think I'll just grab the mystic nut. Since I didn't spend any money on... on armor in the fairy kingdom, I should have plenty of money to get the... Iron Shield and Fur Hood. Does my 535 number take into account... Why are you defending? Just attack. I don't remember if that takes into account selling the magic water or not. Six gold. It would be nice to get a couple mad plants on an early encounter in here before we swap encounter zones. Those are worth a nice chunk of gold. Right here we're in an encounter zone with mad plants. And we left it. Okay. You know, this is probably the most exciting part of the run. <laughs> Lots of talking. Walk around for the next few minutes doing arbitrary plot triggers. talk to Henry, then we're going to talk to a guard, then I'm going to go pick up the Mystic Acorn, because I can. Then we're going to go talk to the Queen, then we're going to talk to the King, then we're going to come back here, talk to Papas, and then we're going to talk to Henry again. <laughs> Super exciting.
Thanks for the follow, RACC. Much appreciated. Good to have you here. I usually just pick that up to sell. Um, I like usually when things go wrong. <laughs> I like to uh, try to hold on to that for Gen two though, to give Pierre a nice early MP boost because he doesn't start with much. Well, throwing an extra three to five at him is great. Between that and the one in Rurafin, you can get a couple extra heals available for Lava Savages. Which is particularly useful if you end up going low level, which I'm mostly going to be doing from here on out. One of the main places for me to save time is to not sit around in Santa Rosa grinding metal slimes and just go. So I'm kind of at a point where whatever, whatever I'm at when I get to the Z-Sword, is good enough. I've managed to do the volcano at level 4 and 5, so... I know I can do it. If I get lucky enough. It all comes down to being lucky enough, really. Got kidnapped. I think we're gonna be in trouble. for that instead of up. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna sell an herb instead of the um instead of the hand woven cloak cape thing. Brain turn on today please. I usually don't use the herbs if I have any extra in my inventory. A yeah. little extra defense on Barango can help out in this walk. Especially if they focus on him like that. <laughs> Good decision. want to see you later. Not yet, though. Give me about ten years, and then I will gladly fight you. That's a really early encounter. Not too dangerous, it's just a long and inconvenient encounter. What we really don't want to see are the, the kid dragons. Their flame breath will murder us. Couple run fails from there and you're dead. Most other encounters. Excuse me. Most other encounters in here are fine. Oof, rain's really coming down now. As long as I'm not failing to run and getting crit by brownies, they are fantastic encounters to see. Ow. 
that I don't want to be crit. Dragons. There's the fireball. There's the triple run fail. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> That's exactly what I said we can't have. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, Ancient Ruins have just been absolutely cruel for me lately. But now I get to do this walk without the holy water. Means more encounters. Yeah, the run chances in this game, it's a 50% chance to get out on the first two attempts, third try is 75%, and then fourth and on is 87.5%. So. I was heavily favored to get out of there <laughs> by the third attempt. Game said no. Not a full heal, but whatever. Oh yeah, it occurs to me that if you wipe out in here, you don't get full MP back. That was a really weird bit of movement. Honestly. Rongo dying is fine. He comes back with one HP, like Bianca did. Don't need to fully top him off, just let him take a few hits. Give me some run attempts. This encounter rate. It's possible to get <laughs> through this area with three encounters total. That's the scariest encounter in here. Four dragons. Well, this was almost a good gen one. But now we're right back to the crap we've been dealing with lately. This encounter is fine. It, this encounter looks like a lot, but there's not a ton of damage that goes out during this. It's just long if you fail to run a bunch. You're usually going to survive as long as you don't get put to sleep. Last encounter. Whew, okay. Now it's fine. Now we can die. If we die during the encounters where Papas is with us, he'll revive and heal. But now it's just a question of how many encounters we get, how long it takes to run away from them. How long it takes to die on Gemma, because I don't have any MP left for her. hitting myself with Boggy. I'll probably survive the first blaze more. And then hopefully he just hits Hero twice instead of Barunga.
Where were these encounters when I was trying desperately to survive? <laughs> Morongo's dead. That's actually really good here. So, at least all of Gemma's attacks are going to hit Hero now. Oh wait, no, because he's still going to have 1 HP. Never mind. I know these things. <laughs> I'm throwing that comment back on Sick Brain's fault. Stupid Barongo, why can't you just stay dead? We're done with random encounters, at least. Now it's just a question of how quickly Gemma kills me. You already have stayed at home. That's not an acceptable nickname for Papas. All right, give a focus me down, please. Morongo's no threat to you. If he deals 60 damage to Hero... Dang it! That officially means that I'm losing this extra time because I accidentally used that life net. Because <laughs> I... <laughs> it actually cost me time. Now, if during the Pierre grind I survive with 5 or less HP, then... Ah! Suck on it. You know, this fight actually is not scripted, so... We want crits as much as possible. The main problem here is Papas plays on Boomer text speed. There's nothing we can do about it. Imagine playing through the whole game at this text speed. <laughs> that would be awful. How many games have fights where you just watch? Uh, this? Three? I mean, this is basically just watching Ortega die. Probably more, but my brain's not firing on all cylinders today. Papa's just changed his name to Ash. <laughs> we got dark Papa's jokes here. Whoa, whoa! What happened to my splits? Why? Okay, um, well that's unfortunate. <laughs> Apparently I hit pause instead of, instead of split, so... I'm gonna sit here. <laughs> Dang it! I just realized they haven't been running for like a minute and a half. So, well, I'll still I'll hit that split now and then wait another minute. You can always retime. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I 
Told you, my brain's not working right now. If something happens out of the ordinary, it's just not gonna... It's not gonna come up with concepts. Not worth losing unnecessary time. But this is DQRTA. I thought the whole thing was just losing unnecessary time. What, what am I doing? I'm in the wrong spot. <sighs> yeah, let's speedrun DQ5 while sick. This is a great idea. Only like 85%. Fair. Ripping music CDs in 2022. I'm more impressed that you still have CDs. Actually, no, I'm not, because I still have CDs. I've got a box full of CDs. It's... I just will probably never pull them out of that box. What a brain! Oh my goodness. <laughs> I completely swapped the two uh, stair segments for that. <laughs> the first time I went down, and the second time I immediately re-entered the stairs. <laughs> right. Running is good. These guys are not attacking. Who knew having four extra HP was so problematic? Car can't read flat. Okay, my car can't read anything. Actually, no, I do. I have a CD player in the trunk. Car can read something. I just never use my car. Like, once a week, maybe. Don't go anywhere. Okay. I'm looking forward to the... 145 Pierre, so that I don't have to even consider retiming this. <laughs> Creed and Nickelback. I can't say I have any Creed or Nickelback CD. Got some Blink-182, Moody Blues, Chicago, Garth Brooks, what else do I have? It's been so long since I've even thought about what CDs I have. Yes, Henry. Go waste our time by getting all of our friends to come say goodbye.
Ona 5 OST. I haven't heard any of the OST from 5. That being said, I haven't seen any gameplay of 5 either. Or any others. I've never I've never watched any Persona games. I gotta say, I watched a friend play through this recently, and he spent hours in the casino, and the music still didn't get old. <laughs> that casino music is too good. Now we hope sw swapping controllers pays off with no ups and downs on the town walk. This is where the tighter D-pad should come in handy, and it didn't. It's better than usual. Okay, it is no longer better than usual. This is hideous. I'm never using this controller again. I'm throwing it back in the garbage heap. Got any Gloria Estefan? <laughs> Not worth my time. Well, they could just kill me. Don't know who that is. Okay. You're definitely old enough for that reference. First try brownie. Oh, within the last year? Okay. Yeah, all of my CDs are things that I've had for like 20 to 30 years. I'm out. Not wasting time on you. I want to fight dragons. The experience to danger level on dragons is not good. Oh, these bags are recruitable, aren't they? Is it different ones? I hope it's different ones. Maybe different bags? Well, if Slalom joins us, we'll know they're not recruitable. Okay, those are not recruitable. Good. <laughs> Get slowing out of it. Should be able to one around a single dragon. Or not. Thanks for low rolling, Henry. Appreciate it. Thank you. 
Bye, Henry. Thanks for playing. Didn't waste time without Henry. Cool. Uh, Four seventy-eight. Uh, I'll buy a couple of wings. I'm gonna have to remember to buy wings in Reinhardt this time. Double upped right at the end there. Skipped over what I wanted. Here we stock up on a lot of herbs because we've got the underground segment coming up where we are going to run out of MP between healing and being MP drained. So, eat as many herbs as we can get down there. Need to buy five or six more wings when I get to Reinhardt. Just buggy do these. Oh my god, stop focus firing Henry like that. Potentially useful. Henry's alive. Henry's poisoned. Henry's just using up all my MP. <laughs> what a friend. We still need a dummy character. Um, since Henry's level's a little bit low, I, I generally like to be 4 or 5 before I head over to Reinhardt. I'll uh, drop down into the mountains to the south here and see if we can get a brownie. Unless one of these joins. Those are actually really nice. They deal some decent damage. We get a brownie here. Or a second slime, even. Get outsped by all of them, I guess.
Probably just take this one last fight and then head over. How long is this going to take? Come on. Surround isn't this useful when I use it. <laughs> okay. Situation of the blind fighting the blind. Me, Brownie. Or not. Okay. Well, we still got a spot available for a dummy character. Night one nothing. Just kill Henry, sure. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Fallen. Can't even make it. Another triple run fail. Good day. Good day. I'm definitely going to be picking up the gold chest in the um, Tower of God here. Oh boy, losing tons of gold in there. Nice to get a dummy along the way here. I'm not gonna go down for the uh, brownies though, so Spidey Boys here are the best chance. This does mean that Yeti percent is on the table. Someday, I'll have a good Gen 1 and a good beginning of Gen 2. It used to be that these were the more consistent parts of my runs. I have Reinhardt now. upper off so if we can kill the yetis before they go screen happy we can still do this on this encounter. Okay. Good. Now just don't crit Henry. <laughs> I should herb just to get him out of crit range. Should be safe here unless we get two crits. Brownie, I would bring him in here, but Fallen's just gonna die. I 
I'd like to have him gaining experience in the background. Up here. Make this worthwhile. Something went right. <laughs> Whew. First try, Pierre. <laughs> Fixes a lot of problems, fortunately. HP or MP. Right. <sighs> All right. So now what we really want is a whole bunch of orcs in the underground. They're not that dangerous and they're worth quite a bit of experience. And they die fairly quickly. Also, they're recruitable and start with 90 HP, so if we get one of those as my dummy, then I'm very happy. Now we enter a major RNG wall. <laughs> the underground. It's less of an RNG wall with Pierre. Okay. When you get that encounter, though. So like small wizard encounters, orc encounters. That's what we really want to see in here. Those are fights that we can take. We can still get. I can't deal enough damage to the torture gun yet. Yeah, we want to get, um, we still need to get Henry to level 6. So if we can take a couple fights in here that are safe, then that's the ideal way to do it. So I don't have to grind outside. This is a good fight. Imagine getting a second Pierre. It's a 1 in 64 to recruit a second slime knight. It's good to use the MP for healing early because if we get MP drained down here, <laughs> we're wasting that MP anyway. Can't kill two here? Good. Nice, good outspeed. In here we have access to the wagon, so I don't want to use Montan, even though it's usually faster. It's also going to waste healing on Slalom that I really can't afford. Here might die here. Lucky. Okay, I, I would prefer Pierre to die than Henry, though. <laughs> Jeez.
We need Henry alive for the story event once we get through the end of here. If Henry's dead, we have to leave, revive him, and then come back through the shortcut. Uh, yeah, I will actually take this fight. I've got enough herbs. We should be able to kill all the wizards in one fight, or in one round. Well, maybe not now, he, since here decided to hit the front one. That all worked out. Hmm. You do have one herb on you. This one I mainly wanted to take because of the horks. They are good experience. And recruitable, and they still need a dummy. Look at that, 254 experience. There's Rukanon for Henry. No recruit. have been much worse. Two herbs left, but we're almost through here. Ultimately, as long as Henry survives, we're, we're fine. Good. Possible to get through this room with no encounter. Cuts open worst case scenario and excellent. All right, one shot underground. That's been a while since that's happened. I've had some awful undergrounds lately. Free time save. Well, we still have to not. Get screwed by RNG on imposter. <laughs> I've had a couple of times where I've had a imposter summon a goodie bag and then it immediately silences the whole party and I can't heal. Not when I want to use my wing. Like, imposter feels like it should be a free fight. And for the most part, it is. But unfortunately, it's not. Every once in a while, she likes to demand respect. Well, that needed to be done, but it wasn't what I was planning on doing. Yeah, and since we took a whole bunch of fights down there, we actually got quite a bit of money, so we're in a good spot now. Poisons. Here we go. Elder Boomerang. Sword. Oh, the bronze knife, and now I'm gonna do my uh, wing shopping that I skipped.
and spend some money on uh, holy waters, just in case we run into metal slimes. I don't need any random encounters now since I've got all the experience that I need on Henry. So the ideal situation here is zero fights. <laughs> Not likely though. I should have ordered there. Got lazy. I should have fought that. I do still need a dummy. Completely forgot about that. It's okay. We got a decent chance of running into brownies in the mountains over here. Not forget Murray. Save and reset here to set the time of night. Because we need it to be daytime when we're out of the tower so that we can use the shrine. If we don't do this, then we gotta walk around outside for a bit to progress the day-night cycle. That means encounters. Or doing DQ3 Isis style walking around, re-entering, walking around, re-entering. Either way, waste of time. Get this brownie, shall we? Nice. Now we Pierre run it. Pierre's got high defense and he's got fire resistance, which makes him a good candidate for running from everything here. The birds can be a problem, um, because they can cast decrease, but Pierre's also got good resistance to that, so it usually doesn't hit him. MP-wise, we mainly just need Hero to have at least 5 MP coming out of here. He's going to cast Upper on himself on the Imposter fight and then heal himself a couple turns later. Because there's a, there's a big AoE hit that comes through. Oh, right on a schedule, fortunate. After that, there's usually no extra healing, but if I can have him at 8 MP, that's ideal. Just in case. One half step away from resetting my threat. Oh well. At least it was a first try run. Basically the same as entering and re-entering the stairs. And we can get metal slimes here if the game is feeling generous. Whew. 
Ooh, don't kill Hero, please. Okay, well, he's going to auto-revive when we go back to Reinhardt, so that's fine. But that does mean that if we run into Metal Slimes, we're not likely to kill them now. I mean, technically, we're not likely to kill them at all, but we're less likely now. Really just need Pierre to survive here. Wallen's not going to be in the, in the imposter fight. He's going to be auto-swapped for Henry uh, when we go through the portal. If Pierre's dead, though, I have to go revive him, and then that means going past a guard, which requires us to go through the underground to get back to the imposter fight. Oh, this fight sucks. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, fortunately, we saved. <laughs> wow, I don't know. Oh, man. I don't know the last time I died in that tower. This has been a day. Okay, so we don't have our brownie anymore. We have to keep that in mind. But here it is. DQ doing its thing, yep. Oh. Uh, all DQ towers are indeed evil. <laughs> that is a correct assessment. Give me my brownie again, please. Thank you. Well, look on the bright side. We've got another shot at Metal Slimes. Yeah, we were three steps away from having our... being on the floor with the raw mirror. <sighs> yeah, this has basically been how the last few weeks have gone for me. It's like, wow, look at these time saves. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Game decided to be a dick. Pyramid is just a tower that let itself go. Agreed. The one shot on the underground, though, might still save us here. I mean, I could still come, ahead, come out ahead on this split just because of that. I haven't had a one shot underground in weeks. And this PB falls under that umbrella. Oh, Hero's down 30. MP. <laughs> There's a nice waste of time. Like, these guys are so incredibly redundant. They blind you and they surround you. Ridiculous number of encounters. I do still need this gold because I've been dying a lot. Metal slime? Not metal slime. I would like to keep this one or no more heals for the rest of this tower. Oh, so much damage. I reset this time. They're also not metal slimes. Get out before they start hitting us. Idiots. Might lose Slalin here. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to spend any MP healing Slalin at this point. Got a very low chance of encountering Metal Slimes from here on out. And if he dies, it's whatever. is right at the MP point that I want him at. Got enough for one upper and two heals. I can use Pierre's MP if I really need to, but I'd like to have him have a backup heal as well. 
das noch um. Goodness. Just let me get to the stairs, please. Thank you. That was obnoxious. Oh my god! Oh my god, what is this? Get out now. Oh. <laughs> wow. That was an encounter. Oh, I'm not sure, does the... A wing will bring me back to the nunnery, won't it? You know, I've got an extra one, so let's just test it. Worst case scenario, it's a faster way to get outside. Yeah, it does, okay. Game is being brutal today. This is the game, <laughs> as a wise man once said. I swear, if this turns to night, like right before I get into this shrine, we're good. Yeah, since I got the... <laughs> Since I got the mirror, I just took the death there. <sighs> Goodbye, time save. You were so beautiful. Uh, a second death in the tower. But this time after the mirror. It was an encounter with... Eight enemies, I want to say? Like, three inspectors... A couple of the dog dudes and something else. It was obnoxious, basically. Okay, I've got two herbs on Henry. I really need it. <laughs> I don't think I'll need that with all my MP now. Yep, this is the game. I think I've missed this door like three runs in a row. Okay, was my... Okay, my tactics did not get shuffled in there. I didn't cast off her myself. That's fine. Though. It's not important on this turn. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. Get out sped by her, Pierre, please. Thank you. Well, now I want Henry alive because he's holding the Zerb. Oh, no, not you. You are silenced. Oh, I didn't equip that. Oh, my. That wasn't you that punched me then. Never mind, I did it. My brain is flustered. <laughs> yeah, the, the zombie's not that big. I saw Henry punching and I thought that Hero had not equipped the, the chain whip, even though I've been using it.
This fight is obnoxious if you only get one Rufinon off. I'm going to die before she attacks. Okay. Now I just <laughs> need to die before Pierre dies. Okay, we should be fine now. My goodness. What is this game? The game is stupid. <laughs> All of these boss fights have just been absolute garbage. <sighs> Win's a win, though. <laughs> yep. Only plus three after Pierre. The good news is that Pierre was a first try. The bad news is everything that happened after the underground. Messy, messy, messy. Yeah, that early stop spell is terrifying. If that had landed on Pierre, there's no way I would have I would have won that. And you're dead, so you can't go in. Poison. Find out if I have enough money. sell this. Not that big of a deal. It just means I can't fight owlbears for bonus experience. <laughs> Been much worse the game. Surely on a run like this we can't have a situation where we're gonna trigger the holy water bug, right? That would never happen. Okay, we do have some potential time save here, though, because I'm not going to be sticking around doing any grinding, so if we just had get a nice quick route down to the bottom, we could come out of this ahead. I need to remember to revive Slalin in town here. Remember to walk up to the doors before trying to open them. I didn't put Slalin in the party before I came in here, did I? I sure didn't. Alright, so we're a wing behind. You like how I waited to revive Slalin here to save time? <laughs> Instead of walking back in Reinhardt. That worked out great. This door is impossible. Give me more than a one this time, please. Technically, you gave me what I asked for. Alright, so I think with a two, he should start listening at level nine. It's 9 or 10 that he normally hits. Um, he hits 20 intelligence. Either way, one Metal Slime will get us there at this point. That door used to piss me off until I started doing that, because I would always miss it. It's just, it, something about going left and then up there, it's hard to center on the door. Then one day I was like, what if I do it first? <laughs> and it was just like, it's amazing!
Okay. Damage. Still here. Three. Good. Got one. Rats are the best. Sure are. Nice early metal slime. Now, Fallen should listen at this point, which makes the rest of the metal slimes a lot easier because he's not going to be attacking whatever he feels like. Also got Nifuramu for the Horks, if for some reason I don't want to run from them. And option. Now these guys can drop defense seeds. <laughs> got it a couple times. But they're not really worth fighting unless uh, they're all that's left after killing metal slimes or you get them like, all the way at the bottom after killing a few metal slimes because then they can, you can kill them in a couple hits. This early though, there's no way. Be a small one after this. Text is fast. Well, it's <laughs> it's fast in the Japanese version. If you play the English fan translation, it crawls. It feels like you're running through muddy water. Also, I've got it on the uh, message speed eight, which progresses the box and moves on whenever the button is pressed, and then I use a turbo controller, so it clears the dialogue a lot faster. Nice, holy water kill. <laughs> but not killing the thing I wanted to. Yeah, I basically learned just enough Japanese to speedrun Dragon Quest. Can't do much else with it. I learned enough so that I can recognize what I'm seeing without just, like, memorizing what it looks like in text. Where was this run luck earlier? Yeah, the names of things in Japanese are extremely consistent throughout the series. It's like, in English, it changes, like, every two years, it feels like. <laughs> the Japanese names are really consistent. I'm gonna spread out the damage, guys. Good job. There was a potential kill there, and Hero was just like, I'm gonna hit the left one. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I heard, uh. <laughs> she said, oh. Yeah, this encounter sucks. Um. If I have the chain whip, I'll still fight. Like, honestly, with how much MP heroes got, I probably could have just cast Boggy. Only four? Oh, well, probably like eight minutes. Uh. Oh, there we go. Five metal slimes. Well, at least we got one. We might get more on like during the death warp, but I'm not gonna sit around. Oh. 
I was like, yeah, I'll leave the sword equipped and unequip the armor. And then I did the opposite. I'll do a couple encounters where I just run until somebody's dead. Honestly, if I don't get a metal, metal slime on this encounter, then... Go. Level 6. Not too bad for the volcano. Stop licking me. And kill me, please. You're not gonna kill them anyway. Just kill me. Licking me! Oh my god, just kill me. Thank you. Disgusting. A slime next to a guitar. There's a few slimes. I've got a, a small slime here. Got a slime knight there. I've got a slime knight there. There's a metal slime right there. Come on, finger. Or, there we go. Right there. There's a metal slime right there. Oh yeah, they're all tamed. Sometimes, P uh, the sometimes Pierre here gets thrown when he's been really frustrating. No, I didn't re-equip Pierre. <laughs> uh, this is a day. Well, here's the good news. The way today has been going, there's a chance that the volcano just kills the run. And then I can move on and enjoy my night. <laughs> you know, Hack, the really nice thing about skipping the Iron Helm now is that since I don't do the fight in... Port sell me, I don't have to worry about reordering to make sure I have everybody in my party here. I've forgotten that a few times. They have to leave town, grab them, and then go back in and do the fight. <laughs> that guy. Should start warming up the GameCube just in case. It won't read discs unless it's been on for like 10 minutes. I think this may be the first time that Brownie's ever been in slot 3 for this menu. Sailors, are they? Efficient sailors. <laughs> the sea slimes, yeah. Last thing you want during a speed run is clear chilling. No, I should probably revive Pierre. My thumbs were like, alright, let's go. Could have whispered it. Helps if I equip the shield, the right shield there. Uh, wait, no, I'll leave that on you. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna be grabbing the iron shield in Salabona. I don't need to put this one on here. 
just an extra menu that I don't need. Alright, so because I'm expecting the game to ambush me, I will swap before a fight. Yeah, that's a good point. Triple run fail. <laughs> oh, Rogue Knights. My god. They're not generally that bad in this game. I'm much more worried about, like, the Lancers. If you're not stopping to fight them, then Rogue Knights usually aren't that bad. Provided they don't crit you, obviously. But... They don't usually show up in large groups, so running from them is fairly safe. Now, obviously, if you get multiple run fails, then, well, you might die, but... You're more consistently dead with enemies like, uh, like the Lancers, because the Lancers are always going to attack, or run, if you're really lucky. Whereas, the Rogue Knights might waste a turn summoning an enemy. Magic water and an herb from those. Did I really not go back and fix my Mist Rura split? <laughs> I could have sworn I did that. So here's where I'm really expecting the game to find a way to screw me over. We get lots of troglodytes and fail to run from them. They do have sleep hit. Oh my goodness. Okay, good. First try run solves all problems. Oh, licking me. Let's get lucky. Yep. That's plan A. It's also plan B. I don't have a plan C. That's, that's fine. This is great. Very nice walk. Well, I used to have a plan C, but it was just get lucky, so I cut it out for the sake of being efficient. Uh, the wing that I'm short is an extra, so it shouldn't matter. I mainly grab it in case I don't have any MP coming out of Kandar's cave, but I will probably still pick one up somewhere. I buy eight wings uh, during my Al Kappa trip. When you really only need six there. Don't talk to this dog. Ah, yeah. I don't think I've ever bought anything from the dwarf. I like buying the moon herbs at um, Port Selmy because then they're right at the top of Brownie's inventory. Then it's a beast. Look at that unknown gold split. <laughs> this is the best you've ever done. Really? How good was it? I don't know.
I almost talked to Dale right there. I've been mixing up visits in like multiple revisit locations all day. Now it's time for nothing to go wrong on the walk to Salabona. Oh, they're just um, letting you know that they're getting married. Or that they already got married and you missed it, I think it was. Uh, if you go down to this cave prior to talking to them, then a messenger shows up and says, Hey, Henry and Maria have been looking for you. And then you have to go there anyway. Yeah, presumably they couldn't track you down and, I don't know, it's been a long time since I played this in English, but the, the basic gist of it is they couldn't track you down prior to the wedding, and so they're just like, well, we'll just do it without you. The passage of time in this game is very, uh, fluid, I guess you could say. It's, it's not a linear game by any means. Basically, you, you're six years old during Gen 1, uh, you go into slavery for 10 years, so you come out at the beginning of Gen 2 at 16. Theoretically, by the time you reach... Uh, by the time you reach Salabona, it's been like another two years and you're 18. And then by the time you reach Granvania, it's been another two years and you're 20. And then you hit the bong too hard and you get stoned for eight years. And then it's a couple more years from there to the end of the game. At which point, when you finally revive your wife from being stoned, you are then a 22-year-old, 30-year-old with 10-year-old children and a 22-year-old wife. There you go. <laughs> there, there's the timeline rundown of this game. <laughs> He's playing his whole life. Yeah, this, this run takes 14 years. No, wait, 24 years. How old is Barongo in cat years? About 5 billion, probably. Yeah, I mean, they, they do say time flies. When you're playing this game, it really flies. It's always great watching people play this game for the first time, because... Like, it very rarely addresses how much time has passed. And so it's like, you feel like the entire time you're 16 years old, because that's where you come out at Gen 2. It's just like, wait, I'm getting married at 16, I have kids at 16, my kids are now half my age. <laughs> Great. Yeah, there's there's a few NPC dialogues that address when events occurred in relation to the present time. And there's one in Granvania that says that your mother was kidnapped twenty years ago. And that's really the only way that you know that it's been that you know, time has passed between the beginning of Gen 2 and Granvania. something in the water, yeah. Alright, now it's time for nothing to go wrong in the volcano. 
also known as, this is probably where the run ends today. Based on how my luck has been. Thanks, Ash. Thanks for the preemptive rip. I'll make sure it does not go to waste. It will be free. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, that's right. I am still one more short. Okay. That's okay. The, the one that I'm short is the extra, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, no, so... Oh, that's an ambush. <laughs> Good start. Um... <laughs> the meaning there was the rich man in town, Ludman, is basically selling off his daughter to anybody that can go through these places. Um... He'll only give his blessing for somebody to marry his daughter if they can bring him the Ring of Fire and the Ring of Water, which are, one is in the volcano and one's in the waterfall cave. Slawlin? Slawlin? Did you not roll enough intelligence to listen to me? This is fantastic. Okay, I need to know. He's at 19 intelligence. Oh my goodness. Okay, so... Alright, so I can't really use expel strats here, which makes this much harder than it needs to be. And these guys are licking the crap out of here. He's one intelligence short of obeying my commands. I don't have enough gem badges. Didn't into the volcano doesn't count, yeah. This is gonna be good. But yeah, so, um, yeah, once you grab the rings, you bring them back to Ludman, and he's like, alright, great, you can marry my daughter, but you then have a decision. You want to marry his daughter, the rich girl, who gives you everything you need for a speedrun, or do you marry Bianca, who was the right decision? Because she actually has character development in this version. But we marry uh, Flora because Flora has better starting equipment. She revives automatically if she dies during the trip to Granvania, which Bianca does not. Uh, you can sell Flora's equipment for 4,500 gold, whereas you can sell Bianca's equipment for about 300 gold. Let's see, what else was there? Oh yeah, and you get the water flying clothes, which are fantastic and Solon wears for most of the game. Fortunately, running, <laughs> marrying Bianca is very difficult for the speedrun. It's technically faster to marry Bianca because you skip a little side mission, but unless you have really good RNG on the walk to Grandvania, it's, it's generally faster to take Flora. Yeah, and if you play the DS version, then they add a third option, but if you're gonna if you ever give me a choice and I'm not speedrunning, it's Bianca all the way. Ever trust us? You're not wrong, Anatolia. <laughs> I did just get healied there. So I want to save all of Pierre's MP for her boss here. Nice ambush. Fortunately, it's not a dangerous fight to be ambushed by. Um, yeah, Pierre is going to be soloing this boss fight, and he needs as much MP as he can get for that. Nice encounter. Hero needs at least two MP when we get to the end, so that he can cast Upper on, the, on Pierre and make him nearly invincible in the fight. Okay... Waiting for the catch. This volcano is being obnoxiously generous so far. There it is. Okay. First try from those. 
He can sell off his daughter twice if he plays his cards right. is an odd volcano where things aren't going sideways at every turn. Might be our last encounter. He's do quite a bit of damage. Uh, put these two out there. I'm gonna be death warping after this, so it's not too big of a deal. I do need both of these alive for the boss at this point. We get no encounters before the stairs. Okay, well, fine. This free. It's free. Everything's free. Thanks, Ash. Kill hero. Perfect. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna go refill my water. Have fun, Pierre. This fight is great. And now it's perfectly safe. Basically the only way to lose this fight while auto-firing it on on tactics like this is if, if Pierre's HP is right around the range it is right now, um, with his max HP there's a very small range where he will cast heal more instead of heal. And I think it's like Probably about like 24 to 26 is probably where he'll do it. Well, I guess 26 and under, but it'll usually only land between 24 and 26. So what can happen is you can spend MP casting a regular heal, you heal for about 30, and then all three of them flame and deal that basically that exact damage back. You can get stuck in a loop there. And when that happens, you can run out of MP. Which he's looking like he might actually, but fortunately I gave him magic water, so... I think we'll be okay. Might not need to use the magic water. Here. He'd have to flame every single turn. And oh, Pierre wants the crit. He's like, yeah, let's get out of here. I'm done with this fight. Okay. Easy peasy. So the really important note here is Slalin is still at 19 intelligence. Oh, and by the way, so right here, leaving Hero dead in the front means I don't have to do the inventory management to swap the ring over to him. Just go straight into his bag. Convenient. Um, but yeah, so I need to make sure that... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I missed an up because of this D-pad again. I wanted to... That was the perfect death warp encounter. I wanted to go into my tactics and swap away from... Save MP here. Look at that encounter. And the, okay, good. At least that one was a failed run. Pretty good volcano. Walk to the volcano was a little sketchy. Um, but yeah, so Stalin doesn't have any guarantee of listening to me right now, so I'm gonna have to fight something in the waterfall cave. Hopefully it'll be Metal Slime. Be nice. 
Oops. Uh, you get to stay dead for a while. Most of the rest of the game, actually. But yeah, we got fights coming up where I need Slalin to listen to me. So, I need him to get one more level. No ifs, ands, or buts. here, drop off the flame ring. He's like, great! The other one is surrounded by water. You can use my boat. And then I flew to Reinhardt because I'm an idiot. Yeah, there are intelligence seeds. Um, I used one right outside the Santa Rosa cave and I rolled a two. It's, a, it's one to three. So if that had rolled a three, he'd be listening to me. And off the top of my head, I don't know where any others are. Ow. <laughs> Paralyzed both Pierre and Hero there. Say hi to Trash Wagon. And here we get to see why we call her Trash Wagon. Because she joins us temporarily. And when she leaves, anything that she does not have equipped goes gets straight sent straight to the bank. And since we don't ever have a routed trip to the bank, we give her the story items that we can't dispose of. She takes care of them for us. We're going to get rid of the torch, the Reinhardt key, and the raw mirror. Because right now they're just taking up bag space. Uh, bag space. He says like he has a bag. Yeah, this version does not have a bag. So. Your party members are all of the storage you get. Wagon has joined the party. Or is further down than usual. And I didn't. Okay. This time, I'm gonna remember to do this so Slalin might survive the kick. Everybody is now ready for the waterfall cave. Blonde on, guy. So here I swap out because I've got I've gotten ambushed um, one step outside of that town before, and Bianca died, and she has to be alive to open that gate. I had to go revive her and then come back. Well done, Bianca. You served your purpose well. So those are expellable. Unfortunately, since I can't trust Slalom to obey me, I had to just run. And now we hope for the best. We hope for fightable encounters. Um, the only weapon I have is on Pierre. These are doable. We 
got one that might be enough for him to level up, so I'll see if he'll cast a spell on his own now. Yeah, there he goes. Please level up. That wasn't enough. If I'm lucky, I can get some metal slimes on my way down. They don't show up for a couple more floors. Not fighting those. Those guys deal way too much damage. I don't have the armor on anybody but Pierre to deal with that. There's only a few encounters I can safely fight with Solomon out. Change my mind. Run. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if your whole party gets paralyzed, it counts as a wipe. Oh, don't you dare kill Stalin. He needs experience. Add plugged in the phone part of the DSL phone splitter into the router along with the DSL. Nice. Uh, okay, killing the Cure Slime is not feasible with one weapon. Yeah, actually, it would be nice if you could fall off this, because you could go straight to the wind. Alright, so here I can start encountering Metal Slimes. But we really want nothing but Metal Slimes from here on out. Hey, look, Metal Slimes and an Ambush. Alright, guys. All right, we got one. <laughs> Excellent. Now let's see if we can get more. Does Pierre still have a holy water? He does. He has two. Of course, he's going to throw it at one that didn't take damage yet. Okay, might get this one. All right, we got two metal slimes. Excellent. Everything's fine now. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be quite enough to get Hero to 14, where he learns outside, but... Everything's better now, for sure. Yeah, I think I was just, just shy of 14. Oh, wow, didn't even get to 13. Never mind. Okay, so I'm just shy of 13. Welcome to the land of the intelligent, Slalin. Been expecting you. Don't need to save Heroes MP because I'm not likely to be able to cast outside. If I do, I've, I've got the magic water still, so... Look at this. Slalin's gonna listen to me. Ah. Wonderful feeling. It makes a lot of encounters a lot safer. Because <laughs> I can have him expel enemies, I can cast increase to boost my defense. I can do more than just run and pray. The good news about this is... Assuming that the intelligence growth is static, um, we don't actually get to see the intelligence numbers on level ups. So I don't I don't know if it is a static growth value, like uh, like most of the stats in this game, because I know agility fluctuates a bit. Um, but assuming that intelligence is is static growth, then if you roll a three on the intelligence seed, Slalin will listen at. Uh, at level 9. So, we at least got good information from this one. Whee. Oh, 
we're almost to the bottom here. Pop everybody off, and that will hopefully be the last heal. Let's need to get into that cave right there behind the waterfall. Grab the water ring, loot the chest next to it, and then we death warp. Unless I get like three more metal slimes somehow. In which case, I can use the magic water and cast outside. Really good walk there. Yeah, we reordered there because the ring has to be in the hero's inventory when you talk to Ludman. And, and now we death warp. I'll Pierre's armor off, because he's the only one that can take a hit here. Then you get metal slimes. So Metal Slimes in this game have between 3 and 5 HP. Uh, that one had 1 or 2 HP left when it ran. 3... Nice. Got that one. It's not going to be enough to get us to level 14, but... I mean, if we get one more during our Death Warp, then we're good. Maybe. I think one more will be enough. Depends on how close we were to 13 with that. I definitely feel a lot more comfortable with... Uh, with Pierre now going forward. Does. The upcoming boss fights. That's not a death warpable fight. The upcoming bosses at the end of Gen 2 are problematic at low level. I don't know why I read that. Kill me. You don't need to cast Rikani, you can just hit me. I'm letting you win. There you go. Oh, that's Bianca. She auto revives when you walk into Ludman's house. I think. Hope so. We'll find out. I'm pretty sure she does. <laughs> like 90% on this. Most of the time when a character is required for a story event, it'll auto-revive them when you enter the area. Hero will auto-revive entering any city. Um, like, in Gen 3, your kids will revive if you enter Ludman's house. So I'm assuming Bianca will also. If not, we'll have learned something else today. Being trash wagon dead for science. Yep, there we go. We're fine. Okay. Everything that has gone wrong in this run, I cannot believe it's as close as it is. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna lose another couple of minutes here, but not being minus 20 right now is amazing. There is also still, like, a minute or so in there from uh, when I accidentally paused the timer, so... But even then, it, it, even counting that, I'm way closer than I would ever expect to be here. EB is always free. Every time. Do, 
should marry Flora. Well, I will. So, good night. Maybe if you weren't broke, I would marry you. Catching that guy. <laughs> It's very consistent, but like if you time it just a little bit off, then you miss the half tile. Good advice by Bianca. Yeah, she's a speedrunner. She's like, no, marry Flora. Marry me, then the Grand Vania trip's gonna be awful. She's also theoretically the faster route for this version. You just can't die on the path to Grandmania. She doesn't have the auto res, yeah. Yeah, if you have good encounter luck and run luck on the path to Grandvania, you save a couple of minutes taking Bianca in this version. You don't have to check the jar. Um before he'll give you the shield. So right after the wedding, you go up, talk to Ludman, take the shield and go to get your ship. Right away. You know what? Good point, Pierre. We should put your armor back on. God. Getting ambushed by... Enemies that can infinitely stun lock a single character. This is great. Oh, hey. And they're in separate groups, so I can't just have Slaw and expel them. <laughs> I am gonna buy a wing here. For safety. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Will Wrecker gets Flora? Yeah, it's just because it's way more consistent. Like, it's only faster if you get really lucky on the path to Grand Mania. That's it. If anything goes wrong on the path to Grand Mania, Flora is faster. That's why I say she's only theoretically faster. <laughs> But like, the, the extra gold routing doesn't take you out of the way at all. Brain? Your wife is not here. Um... Like, everything is on the way. So... It really doesn't make that much of a difference. You, you definitely save more time taking Bianca and skipping the jar than you spend picking up extra gold. Your fingers had a stroke there? Yeah, my brain had a stroke there. Thank goodness. Like, I walked into the house and I was like, why is there nobody here? <laughs> like, oh yeah, because I just came back with the veil. I've been sick for the past few days. I debated not doing this today because, like, my I still haven't fully recovered mentally. But I wanted to run it, so here we are. <laughs> I've had a series of bad runs and bad practice, and I just, I really want to get the monkey off my back. So, wasn't going to skip a run here. Might have gotten the Fendrag Redux. Most likely. I'm definitely in a Fendrag mental capacity at this point. Where did I get it? I don't recall. Somewhere online. Thank you. <laughs> it would make more sense if I actually ran a game that had slime stacks in it, but all of the ones with just a single slime didn't look as good. Fendrag is a mood, a mental disability. It's everything. The wrong woman has joined the party. Wait, that's not her name. Thanks, Anatola. Dude, I love that emote. It's fabulous.
It's everything Fendrag should be. I think I think nine's the only place I've seen it. Yeah, right here, if you marry Bianca, you just... He says less here, and then you can loot the chests immediately. They unlock after you talk to him, though. So, count from 248, and we'll see how much time you save. Joker's 2 for a while. Oops. That's an early encounter. We're gonna throw our wife in front of the party now. She is our new meat shield. Because she's got decent armor. He has a cloak of evasion that has a chance to dodge physical attacks. And most importantly, if she dies, she revives with 1 HP. Effectively, everything that happens to her before dying doesn't matter. <laughs> you have to get unfortunate enough for her to die and then somebody else to die before it's a problem. EQ7 3DS has slime stack through DLC. Hey, Mako. Good to have you here. Thanks for the good luck. Uh, and then there's also this dialogue, so it's a, it's a couple minutes. Yeah, like almost two minutes flat. And then, of course, I can just return to the wrong place. Run out of MP. Take this in. <laughs> I swear, if I PB in my current mental state, I'm going to be a little upset. It should be easy to beat, but until I don't, until I do beat it, I will be competing against somebody with limited mental faculties and losing. Nobody wants that. Lots in D here. That's I don't know. That's what I want. Yeah, it's really interesting. Um, whoever you marry, they keep the silk veil from the wedding, and it is better than their starting headpiece. But it doesn't start out equipped after the wedding. It's like they have an upgrade in their bag, and you have to manually equip it. I don't know about you, but my wife wore her veil after the wedding. <laughs> she wore it on the drive uh, to the honeymoon. At least part of it. Not the whole thing, but come on. It's doable. Alright, let's see if I can Kobe this this time. Right about here. Oh no, my wife is dead. Hey look, she's alive. <laughs> day of the day. It's the day that oh. I was one tile up.
Ambushed. Why do I always get ambushed here? It's maddeningly consistent. Wasn't about to go on adventures across the world on a boat. Actually, we did go on a ferry immediately after the wedding. So, you're partially incorrect. <laughs> well, this encounter, I'll actually keep Pierre because those wizards don't do a whole lot to him. <laughs> Ambushed. Amazing. It's absolutely obnoxious how consistently I get ambushed here. But I sell my wife's veil in order to buy a sleep sword. No, but you also can't sell the veil in this game, so... You sell the... Morning Star and the, um... Cloak of Evasion. Nice try. We're done with that thing, okay? I like how I'm treating this like I have Bianca. <laughs> Just keeping extra bodies in there to spread damage around. Not the case. That's actually one where it's good to have an extra character in, because they cast Sleep. And you can get Sleep locked there. And then, once Flora dies, it'll pull out the next three party members from the wagon. And then you run the risk of people dying there. That time, I got the amp. Finally. I've had a few swords. I think I still have one of them. Somewhere. Look at that quick swap. Beautiful. Especially if there's a, a fight to the death after, the, after they're introduced. Then it's my kind of wedding. Okay, no mad dragons today. That's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any interesting traditions like that in my family. My family is like the most vanilla family you will ever meet. And I proudly carry on that tradition. First try run like right out. Yeah, everybody in my family, like my immediate family, like at this point, not not counting going back, just like my wife and me and my wife and my kids. We're all very just like do our own thing kind of people. <laughs> we don't have a lot of group traditions because we're generally like if we're all just happier do doing whatever. Although, Tuesday, we did figure out what uh, my daughter and I were going to be streaming. We're not going to do Final Fantasy VI. It was a cool idea, but I was just like, you might not enjoy streaming, so... 
Maybe we'll do something that we can drop and never come back to and not feel obligated to finish. So, we're just gonna do some Mario Maker on Tuesday. The end of one of them. Or the one to end. I can read in order. Hello, oh, hello kitty. No. Although that can be on a, a maybe. Speaking of kids. <laughs> oh. No, you didn't finish your dinner. And now she's angry. Oh well. <laughs> More cube frenzy? That'd be fun to watch. Sleep on Pierre was a little scary there, because if Flora had died, then we could have been locked up. Roller rescue. How many duck kites? Nice. So, one speedrun game that I will do eventually. I've been planning on doing it for a very long time, but no, it is not my uh, my current map background project. It is uh, too human for Xbox 360. Generally considered a terrible game, but it's one of my guilty pleasure games. Has to be, huh? West 64. I unironically love the overworld music on Quest 64. You know, hack, I could be learning Aiden Chronicles to take your world record away. <laughs> I think more accurately you could just say I wouldn't be learning Aiden Chronicle. <laughs> I've seen enough to know that I should not learn it. Whatever you want to my wife, but don't kill my slime knight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I said what I said.
So, that chest in the top left corner there, I didn't even notice it was there for the first, like, four months that I was running this game. Eh, I lost track of where I was. Like, it's right next to you, and I never even noticed it. Bonked off the corner. It's a mimic. <laughs> for anybody wondering. Yeah, the... Like, it just never registered because it wasn't important. My brain was just like, I don't pick you up so you don't exist. You can tell by the timer. <laughs> Agu. If that metal babble had been alone, I would have gone for it. And it is tempting me here. On my PB, I kill one. <laughs> and it sure made the, the last half of the run much smoother. Save 21 seconds, mostly because of uh, Hagu time. Q8 vibes. Yeah. Get this is my favorite track in the game, and I feel like they absolutely butchered it in all of the remakes. Mostly because of the part that's coming up when the instrument changes here. Which you don't hear on this one, you'll have to wait until later. <laughs> but in this version, it sounds, you know. It, it, it actually sounds like you're reminiscing, which is the name of the track. But in the remakes, it like sounds like a Disney ballroom scene. It's just like, this is not the original intent of this track. Wham! Wife is dead. Oh no. <laughs> It'll be fine. And here we find out that she's pregnant. Oh my gosh. That's right. For the last 20 minutes or so, we have been throwing our pregnant wife into the jaws of monsters to save ourselves. And I don't feel bad about it. Knock her up or knock her out. Yes. <laughs> no, there's like two years between between Salabona and arriving here. <laughs> oh no, she was not pregnant when we married her. Brownie's dead. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you stupid dog. It's been a while since that dog has jumped out in front of me like that. Didn't feel like two years. Sure doesn't. And again, this whole game doesn't feel like 24 years, does it?
collecting one item from here. It's butt scratches? I don't have time for bug scratches. But bug scratches? I don't have time for butt scratch. Scratch? I'm just gonna stop talking. Let's see if I can not sell anything incorrectly here. Finally getting rid of my traveler's clothes. Maybe I shouldn't have a dog. I don't have a dog. I'm not getting the iron helmet heat here, so uh, you are getting a new helmet. Come on, Thomas, you can do this. Very aware that butt scratches are part of the deal. I also know that I would not be a good dog owner. Therefore, I just cut out the middleman. Don't have a dog. Oh, I did want to sell that. Oh, come on, thumbs. Stop being dumb. Alright, nobody look while I screw this menu up. Horrifically. Now we're buying fighter hairs. This is buy kill in item form. 600 gold a pop. Quite a deal. And these will carry us until... Gen 3, where our daughter learns by kill at level 16 <laughs> when we're getting into the end game. Fifty percent chance of failing? I might not run this game if that were the case. How do we lose three minutes? Sit down, I need to tell you a story. <laughs> it all started three hours ago. <laughs> We've been losing minutes for a while. Oh, I forgot to pass the iron armor over. And tried to equip the Z sword as usual. Alright. Inventories are all good. From the volcano to Smooch? Oh. Uh, that was just a slow waterfall cave, lots of encounters. Had to take a couple fights because Slala needed experience. So. It was not an ideal setup, but needed to be done. Yeah, it, my PB had some really good splits. I also didn't have to death warp in the PB because I got enough metal slimes right at the end of the waterfall cave to cast outside. The splits I'm comparing against are a little bit unfair for how the day has gone. <laughs> Actually, I should probably swap it over to averages. A little more realistic at this point. For averages, I should be pretty close. Yeah, I'm curious. What am I at on average? 
Yeah, there we go. We're ahead on averages. We'll, we'll leave it on averages. This feels this feels much better. <laughs> Sword Edge Armor for Pierre. That'll reflect some physical damage back on melee attacks. Which would be great if we could fight some Hagus with it, but we won't keep it for that long. Oh yeah, the PB was was really good. And it was also really bad. Like <laughs> There was so much room to improve it, but a lot of the RNG spots were, were really good. I need to get out of here before we get cursed. Okay, so there's a non-zero chance that Hero is close enough to 14 to level up off of Kandar. In which case I can cast outside to get out of here, which would be nice. It's a nice time save. I mean, it's not a time save against my, my PB, but... <laughs> my Hero was like level 16 getting out of here because of that Ahaga. Almost made it with no encounters. Deep hit. Alright, once you pick up this, uh, there's no encounters until after the Kandar fight, because they don't want you death warping out. <laughs> so. At least we get to walk down here safely. Yes, all and outsped Pierre, got the fighter hair off her. Excellent. Peace. First try expel. Beautiful. Yeah, and now we finally get to start doing some fights. <laughs> Most of the game up to this point is just running away from enemies. But from this point on, we actually get to start killing some stuff. Not encounters. Like, random encounters are still going to be running, but we're going to have some bosses sprinkled in here and there now. Man, I should, I should compare against averages all the time. <laughs> I like this. Look at that. Five minutes ahead. Unfortunately, Hero did not level up there. Hero learns outside at 14. Okay, now I need to see if I can remember... It's been a while. Okay, it's been a week <laughs> since I had to walk out of here. I'm never confident on the door order for leaving. say I go left, then over the top to the right, and then over the top, back to the left. Right. Yep, that's right.
It's time for everybody to get drunk. How long is Persona 5 for like a casual first playthrough? Oh, by the way, for anybody that isn't aware of the story of this game, this is our uncle Ojiren. Uh, our father was the king of Granvania, but left to go find our mother after she was kidnapped shortly after our birth. So Ojiren has been watching over the kingdom in our father's absence. But he does not want to be king, so we show up and he's like, great, you can be king. So we just went off to the Cave of Trials to get the symbol of royalty so that we can be approved as the king. There you go, we're all caught up now. <laughs> oh, Sancho. I'll forgive you because I need you for the rest of the run. Oh no, I'm I'm pretty far behind PB right now. Oh, not pretty far. I'm like five minutes behind PB. I'm comparing against averages now. There's basically no way I can catch up to my PB because... Um, in my PB, I got a, a Agure right before Granvania, so the second half is 10,000 experience ahead. So, those boss fights went super fast, because I have, like, Rukunan for Orc, Wyvern, Am, Jami, and Kandar. That all went super fast. <laughs> that was true turbo. Hundred five first try. One twenty five second. Yeah, I've I've heard that the Persona games are extremely long. All right, and now we're king. All right, let's go cel celebrate and get drunk. Because like I'd like to play the Persona games, but I don't necessarily think I would stream them. Like I like to stream a lot of my first playthroughs, but I don't think I would stream those because that's a huge time commitment. Because, like, one of those is, like, the entire FF13 series. <laughs> that and reload to make sure you make all the right choices? I don't make sure I make the right choice. I accept the consequences of my actions. Oh no, everybody's been drugged. So it turns out that the advisor that was talking to the king before we went off to go get the symbol of royalty was plotting the kidnap of our wife because she is going to give birth to the legendary hero, which she already did. However, the chancellor left before that happened, so he's still under the impression that she has not given birth yet. And so are all of our enemies now. They just assume that she's still pregnant. But the kids are right here. So for the rest of the game, basically up until the end, all of our enemies assume that the legendary hero has not been born and that their plan has been successful. How can you not tell? They're very small twins. But yeah, so that... The lady there that had the babies basically hid under the bed with them when they started hearing things. Monsters are so dumb. <laughs> yeah, they really are. So are chancellors. So this is the Chancellor's room, where we get the flying shoes to go to where he took the wife away from us. Ooh, mouth failing, words not happening. Uh, not too bad. Two encounters, wow.
Yeah, the weird thing about the flying shoes still being in his room is that you have to wear them to be sent to the tower. So how did they get back after he used them? Who knows? Uh, I'm actually gonna... Dang it. Fine. Nice crit. That works. His spare set. <laughs> That'll that'll work. That's that's the new cannon. Flying feet, and those are his regular shoes. Well, that still wouldn't explain how the shoes work for us, then. Fujin shield, Fujin shield, expel. So the shields that we bought in Grandvania, when used as items, have a chance to expel enemies like that. And in a lot of cases, that's going to be faster than fighting. New purple shoe. So this room is filled with spikes you can't see, like those. Um, if you walk into where they are, they pop up. However, if you are walking to the side and you hold up or down as you go, then it actually checks the tile above you or below you, depending on what you're holding for collisions. So you actually walk right through them. <laughs> sneaky sneaky. Good, okay. There was no good way to handle that encounter, so getting lucky and running on one is ideal. Knock you off. to the fire traps. If you die to the fire traps here, you actually get revived at the uh, in the basement of the tower. And it does not cost money like it normally does when you wipe Dragon Quest game. I didn't use this one either, so I have two strengths these to use here. Three, two, nice, plus five strength. Can't argue with it. Good encounter. Anything that's not a lion in here is a good encounter. The world tree leaf. So I now have two world tree leaves. We're gonna get three total in this run. And those are our revive item. Limited supply. That was weird. <laughs> I walked through the boulder on the half tile. <laughs> I thought I was going to accidentally push it out of the way, but it didn't. It just climb over it. <laughs> yeah. That was weird. I've never done that before. I was about to say, when you push the boulder up against the wall from the side, it's a 50-50 shot for it to... Uh, go up or down, and you need it to go down. And then weirdness happened, and my brain shut off. Oh yeah, most of the enemies in here we can expel in some form.
We don't need the experience at all. Like from this point on, all the experience we're going to be getting is from boss fights. So, wasting time in combat is not beneficial in any way whatsoever. Be okay. Quite trust that without you at full, so. yourself and okay. yeah. so here we have the hero uh, use the Zenithian shield to cast bounce on himself which causes that Rufinon to bounce back onto this dude and reduce his defense for us HP should be fine there. Buff yourself. Alright, so for this fight we actually want the hero to finish as close to 50% HP as possible. Because the next boss has a barrier that drops once the hero either dies or drops under 50% HP. So if we go into there with the hero already under 50% HP, then um, on the at the end of the first round it'll go ahead and drop the barrier, and then the hero comes back with full HP and full MP. missed. That was uncommon. Hero's MP to heal, because it's gonna... Actually, no, I need to keep two MP on him, so... I'm gonna have him cast Upper on Pierre first. Alright, and here's Jami. If you remember, he was the really buff horse that was part of the group that killed our dad back in Gen 1. So round 1 of our vengeance begins now. And... Perfect. Oh, we're not getting the turn 1 Upper. That's fine. Now... Laura jumps out to rescue us, removes the barrier, and bam, hero's back. Not see. Gonna do that. Oh, you're gonna buff yourself. That's the word I was going for. Uh, he okay. Long and dying is fine. Now we're good. <laughs> I was a little bit close, but we're fine now. Everything's fine now. Nice crit from here. Awesome. Hey, keep hurting yourself. Idiot. Alright. Now... Enjoy a six and a half minute cutscene while I go find some dinner. <laughs> this is the way. Alright, I'll be back in six minutes or so.
Ash, your uh, your grayed out one barely fits the theme. <laughs> I don't think that's the look on Hero's face while he's petrified. Here we are. Our kids are now eight years old. Ready to join us on our adventure. Because we are a responsible parent who puts our eight-year-old children in danger. That's okay. Our son is the legendary hero, by the way. Able to wear all the Zenithian armor, wield the Zenithian sword. And the only one with the power to defeat the Demon Lord. So naturally, we're going to kill him off right away and never use him for the rest of the run. <laughs> it's just... seems like the thing to do. Pick up Sancho. Sancho is a beast because he starts at level 20. A little bit ahead of anybody else that we've got right now. Got a lot of HP. We're going to go get him some demon armor, which will massively boost his defense and drop his agility to zero, which will actually be a good thing for us. Why did I go to Salabon? Try this again, at the right place. Take our son's shield, take our son's helmet, right. Hand-me-downs operating in the wrong direction, but who cares. Ideally here, this guy kills our son, who's in the middle slot. We don't want him gaining any experience over the course of the run. Because if you haven't noticed, the uh, level up time is a bit slow. Okay, well he survived, but that's fine. We'll kill him off in the next war. He doesn't get enough here to level up. Demon armor. Bro passes the field to Sancho. Plus 70 in defense. Get a full. Toss these because they're not worth selling. Dang it. Thought I went a little further. Uh, I'm gonna heal Sancho. Look at that, 214 HP. This is why we love Sancho. Just joins the party, ready to go. was a half dial off. I almost perfectly guessed that. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh yeah, I need to leave Sun out so that he gets his butt kicked. He did not die to the goon.
We'll just leave him out front, and any run fails will have a higher chance of hitting him than Sancho. Well, that's annoying. I'm gonna leave that poison on because it's multiple menus to remove that and heal. And if I do a Monton right now, it's gonna heal up Sun as well. So I'll just wait until he's dead. There we go. Problem solved. What's up? Yeah, but no dessert. Whew, those guys are fun. Lots of paralysis. You can expel them, but it's like... The lazy answer is to just run and get lucky. made it. That actually reminds me. I didn't give him the stone of life. Ah, you're not in the top. Alright, so this is Elhaven. The town that our mother came from. We're just coming here for a magic carpet and a magic key. And then we're getting the hell out. The weapon shop here has some really good stuff, but we don't have the money for that yet. And we're going to be getting different weapons anyway. Sun in front, so the key goes to his inventory. Now that we've got the magic key, we can get into the treasury here. Got 3,000 gold and a meteorite armband. Doubles the wearer's ability. So here we revive Slalom. We're not going to revive our son because he's worthless. We're going to leave him dead for the whole game. He'll auto revive at one point, but uh, potentially two points. But we don't need him alive ever.
Who ended up with the robe? Robo, there it is. to the life seat for daughter. Yeah. Oh, I need to remember I'm not giving these straight to daughter yet. And reworking her inventory management to keep the staff of benediction in a more consistent spot. So I'm giving these to Brownie first. inventory is all kinds of wacky. <laughs> Go ahead and cut. Never mind. His inventory is normal. Oh, that's what it is. I didn't... That doesn't go to you. I normally cast that over there. Okay, now it's fine. Dragon mail. <laughs> Bit of a messy shop menu there, but all good. I also didn't equip the shield on Hero. We need to remember to do that here. That's the other thing that was throwing me off in the in that menu. <laughs> Normally the shield is equipped so it's out of the way and the cursor skips over it. Ah. So, I didn't mention it. You don't say. Three damage on it and it ran. Your hero. You know what? Let's do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and try out skip on this world leaf. if we can make up some time. <laughs> it's still possible to salvage this run compared to the PB. It's rough because this the PB really took off in Gen 3 uh, because of that Hagure. But it's possible. Gotcha. I usually don't, mostly because I haven't had as much trouble as you have with it. Like, you have a lot more encounters going after it than I do, <laughs> for sure. But it's one of those things where it's like, I usually have an extra world leaf at the end anyway, so... I mean, why not skip it? Slime Kings. Yeah, it's kind of the same thing with the uh, 
the prayer ring in on the mountain path. I keep considering cutting it out, but with how aggressively I use them in the temple, I, I think I'll keep grabbing it. Dragon Quest Wars? I have not heard of that. Or sleep with <laughs> Yeah, you do. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I got my... My three sub-15s consecutively. <laughs> they were all finished on 15. Yeah. There we go. Now my inventory is exactly as I expected. Magic carpet, off we go. Bonk into every mountain. <laughs> Not sound familiar at all. Popped off. Yeah, we're good. Wow! How did I get that far before my first encounter? <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. That was insane. This is the first encounter I've had in the cave. Wouldn't argue with keeping that rate. Almost out of this room. Ew. Okay, these guys can curse. Which, if they have to... Oh, okay. Well, Solon's probably dead here. Not kill Solon. Wow. Amazing. Okay. If they have to curse somebody, it's best if they curse Solon, because he's got the Hat of Happiness on. So he regenerates MP faster than it actually drains it. Because of half-tiles. Yay! Touch my slime. Oh, that extra up might hurt me. Yeah, this encounter is pretty safe. We get a double increase, at which point they do no damage, and then their fire attack won't kill Slalin because he's got the damage reduction from the water flying clothes on. Yes, I wear things. Okay. There's probably only one encounter left on this, in this entire cave, which if that's the case, this will be the best cave I've ever had. <laughs> By far. Had what, like five encounters so far? I 
get one as you're crossing these tracks. There. Right, run. Beautiful. Now, hopefully, last one. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and call that a perfect Taraco. <laughs> That's never happening again. Another gold. No surprise. <laughs> the tower was a save because of like no encounters and skipping the world tree leaf, and then Taraka was just easy. Now the question is, how does this compare to PB now? <laughs> Check that once we get down through here. <laughs> Still plus eight minutes. The power of the Hagu. Save eight minutes against that because of the hunger. Could we find this golden or mm. <sighs> So it turns out this castle crashed when we were a child. Because the golden orb fell out, landed at the castle that we went and ghost hunted at. We picked up the orb and then it got broken. Whoops. Yes, the game is over. How would you pull that? Apparently there's no way to get that back. Oh, well, for some reason I thought I was a half tile too far up to actually use it there. But then it worked. Fine, everything's fine now. Situation normal. Jeez. Go, daughter. That to the. Fall in. That to the. Poncho. Give that to daughter.
Now we just hope to see metal slimes. <laughs> and not horses and eiger horns. Hey look, horses. And I don't have the fairy sword yet. We just run here. <laughs> Defend strats are after we get the the fairy sword. Okay, this is fine. Encounter stop at this point for this trip through the forest at least. <clears throat> Horse. why I always recenter here. You can talk to Alan just fine from the left side. Green tells me I have to recenter though. Horse but not horse princess. Is why it is the inferior horse. No matter how jacked it is. <laughs> it is not Medea. To the right. You jerk. Hope not to get an encounter here. Okay. Getting pleasant encounters at least. And here, I haven't been discarding the steel sword or Sancho's weapon, so the gold in the chest there isn't really worth grabbing. Sell those if I need the money. There's the fairy sword. Daughter. encounter. Damage around if we fail again. No point in using the <laughs> using the carpet at that point. Not gonna get a second fight more often than not. How do I I don't know how I forgot that hero reorders to the front there. Not supposed to make so much progress during errand time? You're not supposed to take so long doing your errands. I gave you six minutes. <laughs> you took an extra 30 minutes. Cowie errand time. I don't see myself running a game that has Cowie errand time in it. I don't have the time to commit to that. Or the energy. If I win the lottery and I can retire early, then I'll consider doing something that long. Till then. <laughs> Till then I feel like nine hours is my hard limit. Bolt staff, which sells for fifteen thousand bucks. Ooh, baby. You get a good DQRT run? No, no. I mean something that's possible. I would never presume that I could have a chance to have a good DQRTA run. Good 
Japan doesn't count. They cheat. They speak the language natively. <laughs> Not fair. And I'm pretty sure that games give better RNG to people that speak their own language. Never say no to this guy. If you ever say no to yourself, you will regret it. You have to sit through that transition two extra times. Probably still like seven minutes behind TV. Oh wow, actually only six minutes behind now. Look at that. Oh, I still like this comparison. If I have a really good tower, and then we've got a shot at a PB still. But it's gotta be like a flawless tower. My Gamma Fight was pretty slow on my PB too, because I was stuck between two different muscle memory sets. Uh, that fight went a little slow. <laughs> Why are you going left? You don't have MP. Uh, who's got magic water? <laughs> Wait, how does she not? How the hell are having this on? How does she not? Whatever. Who cares? My evil fight was atrocious. <laughs> That evil fight was just like... My brain was rebelling against itself throughout the entire encounter. Wearing it, right? No! She's not wearing the Hat of Happiness. Slalin, you never gave her the Hat of Happiness? You jerk. Well, that explains a lot. Collins being greedy. Take it off here. Or did? Oh, that's the Z sword. Uh, hang on. A oh, hero still has it equipped. That is not it. I'm never using this controller again. <laughs> uh, where's the money that I'm missing? Oh, duh. The robe. I thought I did that first. Okay, well, I sold a lot of extra stuff I didn't need to. Still attributing this to brain fog. That makes her surviving the um, the 
forest that much more impressive. <laughs> there you go. I'll pop off because I have no MP left on anybody. That does mean I've sold off all of my safety gold stuff, so if things go wrong, I'll be a little bit short. Which means I'm going to pick up the first armor inside the tower as a backup backup. Also, now that she's got her stuff, we can pass her. Oops. Feel the castle rising with my subwoofer. This is, the, this is the second one I've done since I installed the speakers. Oh, that's right. Last time I, last week I gave up before Grand Mania. Yeah, it's the first time I've gotten here with my subwoofer. Felt that too. Now we're all getting high in a castle. Brain Manusa. I feel like there should be like an easter egg where you can go and land this on top of Reinhardt and just go flex on Henry. But check it out, my castle flies. <laughs> oh, and this is my backup castle by the way. I've got two. I was like, oh, she doesn't have room. It's like, she doesn't need room. It's already in her inventory. It's just moving it to the bottom. <laughs> Hello, Brain. How are you today? Would you like to join us? get that uh, really lucky tower that I had one time, where I made it all the way to the front door without a single encounter. Because it happened to me exactly one time. Probably never happen again, but keep hoping to see it. Nope. Hey. That's fine. 
This is less fun. Yeah, this is fine. I bring her in instead of Hero uh, for the walk down on the off chance that we get uh, black dragons or silver de silver devils on the way. Yeah, as we can get her some extra levels before Gons that way. But, eh. Sometimes she dies. Okay. Nozaki. Wow, that's a quick encounter. Not a dangerous encounter, but a quick one. Those guys effectively do nothing on their own. <laughs> Best encounter you can get while you're trying to avoid stuff. It's nice to get a couple Black Dragon encounters for bonus levels on Daughter, but... Outside of that, the ogre heads are fantastic. That is not return. You know, you have to hit up to get to return. I did. There's MP back. I so might as well do a safety save. <laughs> We're here. What's a few seconds? I mean, the only time that a safety save would matter would be if, uh... Okay. The most likely time for a safety save to matter is if Daughter dies before you get a... Um, a trash fight to level her up a little bit. After a couple of levels, she's generally safer. That's a terrible encounter. Even after increase in Fairy Sword, those Metal Drak do so much damage. This fight sucks. On. Okay, good. <laughs> as long as I get away. I, I still have not decided what the best way to handle the Springers is. Like, do you increase Fairy Sword run, or do you just run? I don't feel like there's a correct answer. It's just whichever one you escape first is correct, so. Old muscle memory popped in there. 
In my old inventory management, the staff was left down. And even though I've been doing just left this entire fight, <laughs> my brain was just like, oh, left down, okay. Residual muscle memory in there. But that was nice. Gon's actually missed his attack on the final round, so everybody's effectively full health. Like, obviously Daughter's missing the new max HP, but I don't need to heal after this fight. Let's go. Got room for the Z-Sword. I didn't... Uh, uh, can't cast outside yet. Surely we won't need the full moon herbs. <laughs> Why do I forget those so consistent? It's fine. More often than not, you don't need them. It only matters if Daughter gets paralyzed, and she's got good resistance to it. Now that I've said that, she's absolutely getting paralyzed. They really are impossible. I mean, I buy them, what, three hours ago? <laughs> How am I supposed to remember that? Kill you then. It's gonna be like that. You don't want to get food and shield out of here. You can die. You think you matter to me? Garbage. I gave her this this sword earlier. I was like, I was like, did I pass the sword? Uh, right here. Oh. I always forget if I parry sword or use shield first. It is indeed parry sword first. That was the grappling hook. About to Z shield. So, well, actually. Oh, this is a tough... I'm gonna do this. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna have you heal you first. You heal you first. Why was that a tough decision? That was my brain being as dumb as it could be. Uh, Staff of Staros is in the wrong spot. Okay, if you want to keep bouncing, I'm totally cool with this. You can bounce all day. Or in a row. Got him stuck in a loop, it's fine. Another bounce? Oh, he is totally going to turn around and paralyze everybody in one turn at some point. must always be a balance. Wait. Another bounce. Oh. I've had more bounces in this fight than I've had in the last month combined. Uh, 
I thought about having Pierre also heal himself there. Good, missed everybody again. Oh, he's trying. Nice. Easiest Gemma ever. That was so many bounces. That was amazing. Like, it started off with, like, what, five, cons four or five consecutive bounces? <laughs> Purge all of them. <laughs> Thanks, Arius. That one felt good. Slightly ahead of average, yes. Well, on average, my towers are not very kind. <laughs> Another gold split. It's a gold split kind of a day. I don't know why. My brain is... Did I pick up the other eye? I did. Okay, we're good. I, I now always expect that I forgot to pick up the other eye. Oh, hit that. From that one time I didn't pick up the eye. <laughs> oh yeah, it should be sub six hour. Unless things go pretty wrong from here. But we still got uh, plenty that can go wrong in the Great Temple and Evil Mountain. My Evil Mountains in practice lately have been atrocious. I've been getting demolished by the trash. Nothing left to go wrong, except for the rest of the game. I'm gonna throw that to Brownie because... Oh, no. I don't have access to Brownie yet. Come on. When I get out of here, I need to throw that to Brownie, because I never think about it until, um, after everybody gets sent to the, uh, to the tavern, and then it ends up in my bank, and I don't have the option of selling it anymore. Nice. Does he just run from everything on the first try? It's easy. I don't know why people say this game is hard. Oh, that's why. her. Everybody else's HP is fine. It's all gold golems. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, that's not gold gold. Potential damage here. That's fine. 
don't think I need... Oh, I'll, I'll go ahead and use that. I still have another trip up to make. Worth it. Also, I expect, basically, to burn both of my prayer rings in here. The fact I've only used my prayer ring twice in this tower is pretty amazing. But after this tower, there's not really a lot of spots where the prayer ring matters. I've got Elfin Elixirs for Mirror Dross if I need it. And uh, while we're in the Great Temple, we've got access to all of the MP in the party. So not a big deal. We can also just walk up here and not get any encounters. Okay, there we go. All the devils. What a joke. Great Tower 3. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Our dragon, hit Ned's in, rest up, do a safety save, and hit the temple. I do need to keep in mind I still haven't done the the jar check because I haven't had <laughs> my daughter die. Um I'll probably just do that now. Because if she dies in the in the temple and I have to reset from that point, then or and I don't have enough world leaves to get through, then I'm, I'm going to be reloading a safety save anyway. Not going to be using Ludman's house to revive her. So, we'll go visit Grandpa. Still have my world do. Yeah, the main reason to do it before the temple is because once the temple is over, um, the magic key, which is currently in the sun's inventory, will get sent back to the bank. So if I haven't done it by then, I have to go to the bank and pull it out. I say this because <laughs> knowing full well, yes, I can move the key off of sun. I will not remember to do that. It will stay on him and it'll go to the bank. <laughs> I know me. It's easier to do it now, and then not have to do an inventory swap or anything like that. And it's all time we have to spend at some point. That's all set up now. All Pierre's MP back. And Hero. Hero's MP is down a little bit from the Montan outside the tower. Thank you. 
and stuff. Oh, I would love to see a new PB, but <laughs> that's gonna be hard. My uh, my PB got a Hagure right before Granvania, so Gen 3 really took off. I didn't reorder. That's okay. Surely it won't be a problem. I was a low roll on that zap. That's a really interesting fight because depending on the rolls on uh, a couple of the attacks, you can either kill the enemies before the third one, before the zap goes off, or they can survive it. Good. <clears throat> okay. Yes, yes. Good. Attacking Sancho is the best thing that you do there. Uh, that allows me to get Fighter Sword up, or Fairy Sword up as well. And here just in case. We like seeing physicals. Physicals are the best thing this boss can do. Nice crit. Quick fight. <laughs> Couple of crits really speed that fight up. Nice Kishin. Kishin no Chigeki. Twice. <laughs> Twice in one fight. By Kiruto. Beautiful. Once we get down here, I will primarily be using Hero's MP, because he is almost definitely going to die during this walk. I want to use his MP before he dies. But after that point, we just got Pierre's MP to work with. Might just die here. Alright, well, his MP was useless. <laughs> Good thing we've still got both prayer rings. So I've got two World Leaves, um, I never plan on keeping the World Leaves beyond, oh nice ambush, I don't plan on keeping the World Leaves beyond this dungeon, so, as long as either Daughter or Sancho gets to the end, the other has an opportunity to revive. Still didn't break the ring.
Execute all. Plan A. Run on the first try. That's a short walk. And for the most part, as long as I don't lose both Sancho and Daughter in a single fight, this temple isn't too bad. Like, it's a lot scarier coming into it when you're not sure how valuable your resources are, but... Woo! But like, knowing that I can burn through my prayer rings and my world leaves in here and still be fine makes it less stressful than it was early on. Go ahead and use one of the leaves here. Yeah. Since it's early, I'll go ahead and use it. Got one more, so I just need both of them to get, or at least one of them to get through two more rooms here, and we're, we should be fine at that point. Still haven't broken a ring yet. Now, those spirits have an AoE by kill, which is terrifying. Fortunately, that flashing uh, removes buffs and debuffs from everybody in the, in the battle. So more often than not, they'll buff themselves and then debuff themselves before they attack. But they can deal a boatload of damage if they don't. Preemptive is a free run. So usually this is where I would use a World Tree Leaf if somebody's dead, so you're mostly fine at this point. Things can obviously still go wrong. There's a, like one to two more encounters before the end. But all in all, this has been a very good temple. Poncho. That wrong. <laughs> Here is that. Need to remember where my, um to do where my staff is. It's not going to be left. For this fight, it's right up. That's a Sancho doesn't outspeed daughter. Tactics are fine. Now this boss is on a cycle, so I always know what move he's going to do next. I'm gonna go ahead and use the world do after this turn.
Don't need to worry about getting cute with any of the healing there. So there, I swap Pierre out for the corpse because due to the way that the game calculates turn order, uh, long story short, that guarantees that Sancho's gonna go before the, the purge that wipes out the buy kill, so we get more damage though. It's almost over. Out of five kills, which means the boss is about to die. This fight lines up pretty nicely that, uh, um, okay. when daughter runs out of MP for buy kills, the boss is about dead. Except for this time. Oh, that was the defending turn. I did that. Okay. That was just me blowing the turn order. <laughs> We're fine. He's dead. There it is. <laughs> no problems. My mind skipped the, uh, the attack turn for some reason, which fortunately everybody was high enough health, it didn't matter. But I'll chalk that one up to brain fog, too. Like most of this run. <laughs> Alright, let's see where we are compared to BB. We're only plus six. Not bad. Alright. Fallen should hit level 20 and learn Metapani off of this fight. Which we're going to use for Mirror Dress Phase 1. Really good Gen 3 so far. Pretty happy with it. I mean, I'm still making some boneheaded mistakes from having trouble focusing right now, but aside from that, then really good. Rid of everything that I don't want sent back to. What's it? Back to the bank here. I'll throw these on brownie for here, just in case. 
We will grab the sword after, right before Bjorn. That's why I'm thinking about it. Has two fighter hairs. Good. Nice extended exposure to this track. Nice relaxing walk out of the temple. I picked up the ring right, okay. <laughs> Yeah, this part in the remakes sounds like a Disney ballroom, and it completely destroys the feel of the song, in my opinion. It's like sweeping music instead of, you know, <laughs> what we got here. I'm not good at describing music. Hey, look, it's Flora. And she will not join the party. I have stopped bringing her and Sun into Gen 3, or not Gen, into the Dark World. I used to bring at least her. Well, I would bring both of them. I'd bring her for extra heal mores, because she does have 35 MP. Um, and I would bring Sun as a meat shield, but... I rarely used them, and I would always forget to kill them off on Hell Battlers, and so I'd have to sit through extra levels that they don't need. So, I just stopped picking them up. Little boy. Instead of getting all four, we're just going to pick up Sancho and Daughter. A fairy sword to Sancho. Uh, did I come back? No, I didn't yet. There we go. Guard tells me to go to the tower. There, it did equip the armband. Wrong direction on the stairs. Just like Papa's. Moose. Yup, mega moose. <laughs> The moosest of all mooses that have ever moosed. Man, that tea is cold. That's fine. At least it's not coffee. Most moosed. Most moosed? Trying to juice the moose. Sword. Fighter hair. Oh, fine. Burn heal. Hero's gonna die here. That's totally fine. He's just bonus healing until he dies.
Yeah. Ooh. A fantastic sound effect. Yeah, so here, because of the way that turn order works, um, that... <laughs> Long story short, that corpse has inherited Sancho's zero agility. And so when the game is comparing agility to see who's going first, it compares Sancho to Pierre, determines that Pierre's gonna go before Sancho, and then it compares Sancho to the corpse, and they tie. And once it ties, it just stops comparing it. So... So Pierre goes first, Hey, buddy. It, it feels... It feels like... So, Pierre will always go first because of the meteorite armband. Sancho will always go right after him because of the corpse. Pretty nice. <laughs> you never have to worry about being outsped by Bjorn on this fight. Spacing out. We're fine. Calculated. I was just being efficient with my heal, heal all. That's all. <laughs> oh. Brain fog almost cost me a Bjorn fight. This is not a fight you lose. <laughs> this is easily the freest fight in the game. <laughs> yeah, just being aggressive, that's all. Just extra aggressive stuff. Rats. That's that's all that is. Woo! Scared myself on that one. At this point, we're still unable to cast Return from inside this building. You lose that ability in Gen 3. Oh, you have to walk out. will stay that there we get recovery I still have the fur hat. I need to get used to that because I stopped getting the iron helmet. So, if I get the iron helmet, then um, the ring ends up at the top of the hero's inventory. Dark world time. That you have the arm man to sacrifice. Uh, 
Pick up the Sage of Stone and our inventory is all set. So there are enemies with Zaki outside Elhaven, which is why I give Sancho the Lifestone right away. But now... I want to move it to the back of his inventory so that Sage of Stone is right up at the front. Popped off? Yay. Yeah. Bazuzu. It's actually the first time in a while that Sancho has survived the first encounter in the Dark World. <laughs> he has not had a good time of it lately. Nice. Easy. Okay, well I don't need to go to the inn because I've only healed once. Um, I don't need a third elfin elixir. I can just go up here, get the stuff, and head straight to Evil Mountain. Yeah, the only way to need multiple Elfin Elixirs on the final boss is if you're in the strong pattern and you've massively butchered it. At which point you're probably just dead anyway. <laughs> I don't think it's possible to survive long enough to need even two Elfin Elixirs, honestly. The only MP you're using is by kill, and you're only using that after the purge turns. So, you do that, you're looking at what 40 casts of by kill at least. <laughs> Don't have to worry about the steel MP and run. Yeah, true. But I still have two prayer rings as well. exist. <laughs> um, do I just go? Five minutes behind, I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna go for the safety save. What's life without taking a risk, right? Really, with all the times that I've been obliterated inside <laughs> Evil Mountain this week, I'm due for a one-shot. And who knows, I might save five minutes. Doubt it, but... No shot at a PB if I go for a safety save. Right there they did the AoE buy kill, and then they removed it. <laughs> and then they changed my tactics, so I need to keep that in mind. Single target enemies, I throw out both of my tanks to try to split the damage up. Less likely that either of them dies individually. Almost forgot that my tactics were swapped. Oh, yeah, it's been slowing. Twice! Because I didn't give him the meteorite arm man. That's fine. I 
I did give it to him, I didn't equip it. That's what happened. This is fine. <laughs> I didn't need that leaf anyway. I expect to use that in the temple. Yeah, my cutoff for caring about prayer rings is after Gemma is down, and then my cutoff for caring about World Tree Leaves is after Ivol is down. That one was that, that was a stupid run, by the way. I didn't remember to pull Fallen uh, out, and he could have died again. It's getting dangerous, so I'm gonna swap in Brownie. If he fails to run, then the Armband of Sacrifice will take care of this. Nope, we're good. Good job, Brownie. That Armband of Sacrifice is one get out of jail free card. Well done, Slalom. You did it. <clears throat> we found Mom! Hooray! Finally reunited. We can have good times with Mom. Oh, wait. Mom? Mom? You okay? Hey mom, watch out for that lightning rod next to you. Oh, mom's dead. Oh, well. Who could have seen it coming? It wasn't fine. But it's okay, because now Papa's is here. And mom and dad's ghost can die happily ever after. Go get that ghost nookie, Dad. It's been like 30 years. Right. This is where things have been going sideways for me in practice lately. Starting in this room. Definitely happy to see Sanjo one last time. Yep. How it starts. Brownia is the champ today. Still have not broken a prayer ring. This is a tough one to decide how to handle it, because they've got a significant single and AoE damage. I think their single is more dangerous. Or not two to spread it out. These guys can be extremely problematic. Alright, Brownie, this is your time to shine. Again, Brownie is 100%. <laughs> Brownie's like, no, this armband of sacrifice was not meant for you.
King Helmet. A huge boost for PA. Missed the stairs. Excellent. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Okay. Even better. I most likely both would have survived a single run fail, and then I would have swapped to Brownie. It's actually a really good time for him to die because we're just about out of here and that means I don't have to remember to kill him off on, I on the Hell Babblers. This becomes risky though. Need them both out to spread out damage if we fail. Woohoo! Easy peasy. No sweat. Not even a little bit nervous. Brownie, <laughs> no. That's Cowie's favorite part of the stream. Hammerhood gets obliterated. Oh, so hack, my uh my friend that was doing his first playthrough of this game did the same thing you did. He didn't realize you could walk on the brown part. So he was in here for like 20 minutes. <laughs> and he felt so dumb when he realized you can step on it. <laughs> it was glorious. get through M2 in 10 minutes? I don't think so. <laughs> you can cut it close. Look at that walk. Okay, I did not give the fairy sword to Pierre, so I do need to cast upper on him here. Poncho Peter. Alright. I also didn't swap the. Oh, not that. I don't know about you, but I play Dragon Quest for the puzzles. One thing left to do here. Equip that. How did you get outspent there? Lord, I got the sheep build. That's your stick. That. That. It was not where I thought it was. Never mind. I don't know how my brain said, Yep, got the ring. Or the armband. <laughs> but she did not have the arm. <laughs> Still haven't broken a prayer ring. Just in case things go 
perfectly wrong. A couple of these on show, just in case. There we go. Wish they had more random encounters. Way. That's good. Still have buy kill up, which means I'm pushing good damage during these turns. Killing machines, less good. Not a freezing wave yet, which is kind of surprising. Yeah, for some reason I thought I accidentally left daughter out. I did not. We're good. There's the freezing wave. Sword first. Bounce, please. Good. Confused them both. Excellent. These ones almost done then. Let's gonna put our health at a fun spot if we don't get a heal before he goes down. Okay, excellent. Yeah, there, we're gonna set up for next phase. Great. We are in a great spot going into the next frame. pattern we get. <coughs> I'd be okay with medium. I'm generally more comfortable with medium over easy. Just because of that speed issue. Yeah. Although, I should be able to just... Sancho Daughter Corpse to make sure that I get my heals in time if there's a sketchy turn. Actually, no, I would have to go Sancho Corpse Daughter, because Daughter would still compare against Mirror Dross and he could still win. Oh, we got Strong Pattern. Which is fine. buy kill up so I'm just gonna defend this turn. And I honestly got a heal and a possible attack at this point. on a heal, we just 
air stay out. Back to heal with a possible attack. I like these single action turns. There's a double. <laughs> That's okay. Ending on exploded is fine. Here is ridiculously hoping. <laughs> at full health for that, so played it safe. Yeah, so far he's been cooperating quite well. Which is good because I need to heat or saunter heat. Oh fuck, I missed that. Oh. He did, he did heal, okay. Oh yeah, there's a ton of menu in his drawing. <laughs> I'm on that one. We're okay. Boss can feel free to die at any time.
Thanks. Ooh. <laughs> Feels good to finish one. It has been a rough week. That was that was a pretty good mirror drafts one and two, honestly. That that one felt really good. It wasn't ever really in danger on strong pattern, which was nice. He was very lenient there. Almost made up the time. But you gotta keep in mind there's still like another minute somewhere in there uh, between Gen 1 and Gen 2 where I accidentally paused it, but... Ooh, what a comeback on that run. Thanks for the GG's, guys. <laughs> this was a run that really felt like it was gonna be nowhere close. <laughs> like, I was th I was feeling 6 plus on this one. Yeah, for, for a strong pattern, that was very quick, because I didn't have to... I think I had Pierre heal once. Maybe. I don't even... Actually, I don't even think I had him heal once. Never mind. I had him defend a couple of times, but... But yeah, that was, that was the most cooperative strong pattern I've ever seen. Strangely, I've been very comfortable with strong pattern lately. I don't know why, but it's been working for me. Yeah, the really disgusting thing is how close this was to a PB, and the amount of mistakes that I made throughout this run. I mean, it's good in that, you know, I'm more consistent in the things that I can control, and it's nice to see that, you know, some good RNG can still outweigh some bad RNG, but... This just screams at me that there is so much that I can improve on still. Like, I can easily cut, like, 10 to 15 minutes if I just don't make mistakes and things go well. Because in Gen 2, I was plus 9 minutes over P. And I had a lot of deaths on this roll. Like, it was... death-filled. Oh, thanks, Planterus. Yeah, really good Gen 3. Very happy with Gen 3. I mean, when you compare this to the average, look at that Gen 3. Minus 21 minutes. <laughs> Way above average. This run might actually pull my average under 6. I'll be interested to see where that ends up. Yeah, like, I saved time on every split in Gen 3. Every single one. Three gold splits in there. My Rura split was also a gold. I don't know by how much. Weird day. Weird, weird day. <laughs> it's like a mix of good and bad. Fortunately, they evened out pretty well, so the bad wasn't too bad. Yeah, I've gotten to a point where consistently my Gen 3 is shorter than my Gen 2. So that's that's really good. Because Gen 3 is where you can lose a lot of time. Uh, be mostly because of the Tower, the Temple, and Evil Mountain just all back to back. It's That's a high pressure series of three locations where anything can obliterate you. So the fact that I've been pretty consistently getting through those in runs is a relief. Practice this week was not good. I had so many problems in practice this week. It was insane. I could not finish a run in practice. Like I was telling Hacker earlier today, in the in the last week I practiced Evil Mountain 15 times. I got to Mirror Dress twice and died on both of them. <laughs> One of them was my fault, but it's just it's this is the game. <laughs> this is truly the game. Oh, I beat you to a cat. Look, I think that's a dog. I can't really tell. Who knows? Whatever that animal is. You no, know, the dog anime. The dog sprite looks different. That has to be. Oh yeah, my inventory arrangements is most of what I've been working on lately. Ivol still throws me off because since 
Um, I've been putting her shield in six. I think I should be putting the Storo staff there instead, so that the staff stays on seven. I need to work on that still. But I've been going Z shield, staff, sword uh, through that segment. Still improvement to be made there, but it's definitely improving. <laughs> the the boss menuing was very smooth for most of this run. And I didn't have any muscle memory overlaps, that was nice. The hardest thing about trying to overwrite muscle memory is when uh, you get a partial overwrite and then you don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. For sure. I just... The, the main thing is I had to stop and think a few times on Ivol because I was used to the, the staff being on 7 and it, and it moves into 6 when the shield goes to Sancho. Wait, no. Yeah. When the shield goes to Sancho. So, I, I can still improve that a little bit just to make sure the staff is always in the same spot every single time I use it throughout the run. That'll be way better than having to remember for one fight that it's in a different slot. I'm also never using this controller again for DQ5. <laughs> I'm gonna s like, I, I decided to try it out because the D-pad on this one is stiffer than my other ASCII pad, and I was thinking, you know, that could help with the, the town walking. It didn't really help with the town walking, and it did lead to a couple of little left-rights here and there. Let's take a look here. I'll cap out was pretty average, all things considered. Um, I had a goblin rat encounter that Papa's decided to go single attack on three of the turns. So it was a long fight, and that's most of mostly where that time went. Um, really good castle. Um, for the most part, <laughs> I died near the end of it, which sucked. So I ended up losing a lot of money there. But you know, what can you do? One death in the castle is whatever. I nearly died on the ghost, but it, it worked out. Um, yeah, because of the death in the castle, I had to... I didn't even get the leather armor. I just did it with the adventurer's clothes uh, throughout all of Gen 1, so... That was that was fine. That let me save up the money that I needed for the shopping in, uh, in Reinhardt. Ice Queen was... Bizarre. Uh, Barongo died on, what, turn three? Three or four? Because Ice Queen outsped my healing. That was great. So that, that was a long fight. I don't know how I saved time on my averages there, but okay, I'll take it. Ancient Ruins, I died like two-thirds of the way through it. That was awful. If, it was, <laughs> if I didn't have that triple run fail against dragons in the Ancient Ruin, bam, we've got a PV here. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, first try Pierre. That was great. Uh, first try Underground. We died twice in the Tower of God. Uh, once about halfway through it, and then the second time we died after getting the Mirror of Ra. So I just accepted the Lost Gold instead of redoing the whole tower. Um, revived everybody and went through. Um, Imposter, the, the goodie bag silenced Henry and Hero right away. So I had almost no healing, and I only got one Rukunon off, so it was a bit of a slow fight, and we, I think Pierre had 6 HP after the last of the ads went down after the boss died, so that was close. That one had me worried. Uh, Santa Rosa was fine. I got a very early Metal Slime, and then couldn't kill any after that, so not a whole lot done there. Rotor Split was fine because I did not get really like any encounters on the walk to the Rotor Moon Herb. Like I walked from, I think I had one encounter between the bridge and the herb. That was really nice. Uh, died once outside the volcano and then one shotted it with Pierre at level six. So that was great. Waterfall Cave was slow because I needed to take fights to level up Slalin because he was one intelligent short of listening to me. So. Took a few fights in there, got a couple Metal Slimes, which worked out. Uh, Castor Granvania was pretty average, like nothing really happened there of note. It was, I mean, 
my usual like three early ambushes in there, but survived all of them for. And our split it was good. Uh, first try expel. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the demon tower was really good actually. I didn't run into any, well, maybe one encounter with with the lions, but it was mostly manageable encounters, mostly first try runs. That went pretty smooth. And then Gen 3 is just like where this exploded. <laughs> like, I don't know if anything like really went wrong in Gen 3. Sun survived the, the goon fight, which is unfortunate, but you just kill him off during the, the next trip toward El Haven. Um... Taraco was god tier. I, I think I had five or six encounters in Taraco altogether. Like, no, it was just, I had insane walks. My first walk was almost all the way through the first floor. My first walk. My first encounter was almost all the way through the first floor. That was really good. Um, orb swap. The forest went really quick. Like, I think I had two encounters and they were both first try runs. And then on the way to the fairy sword, one more encounter that was a first try run. Easy peasy. Tower went mostly smooth. Daughter died near the top, so I had to leave and revive her, but then the rest of it was a lot of first try runs. I only had to use... Yeah, I think I stopped to heal twice on the way to Gemma, and I used one prayer ring in, in the bottom half of the tower, which I usually use like three to four minimum. So... That was pretty nice. Also, Gons missed on his final attack, so I didn't have to stop and heal after that fight. Everybody was full health coming out of it. Um, Gemma himself was so incredibly generous. Like, he he did four bounces in a row at one point and never paralyzed anybody, which is good because, as I always do, I forgot my full moon herbs. <laughs> but who needs them when he doesn't paralyze anybody? Uh, Great Temple was... A breeze. Daughter died super early, but I brought her back right away. And then just basically first try ran everything all the way through there. Um, the Ivel fight went pretty smoothly. Though, I did miss some stuff there. I... I, I... What, what did I do? There? Yeah, on, on the last round, I somehow skipped over his attack phase, so... I did, instead of killing him, I did Z-Shield and Z-Sword early. Whatever, I still won. It was just an extra turn or two or late. Uh, Bjorn was pretty quick. Getting to Evil Mountain was great. 5, 4 to 3, 50 ish, plus roughly one minute. <laughs> it's more like 5.45, so that's my second best run. Let's see. So yeah, getting to Evil Mountain was fine. And then, yeah, I was basically full MP going into Evil Mountain, so I just went for it. I didn't even safety save. I was just like, let's go. <laughs> almost uh, almost paid the price for that. Used my leaf pretty early because I didn't um, I didn't equip the meteorite armband on Slalin. So he got killed by Gigantes with a hit for like 200 something. Uh, Brownie was the MVP in Evil Mountain though. Like he first try ran three or four encounters. And then on the last one where it really mattered... Where it didn't really matter if he died or not, he went ahead and took the sacrifice armband and yeeted the enemies out of there. And then Miradross was just super smooth. Uh, he didn't freezing wave in phase one for quite a while, so I kept uh, by kill up for quite a while. Had to expel two, two or three sets of killer machines before I got clowns, but in the end, I, he only got hit by the clowns like tw two or three times total. I, I did most of the damage on my own there. And then phase two, strong pattern, but it was a very generous strong pattern. He had a lot of single attack uh, phases or rounds, and he ended on Ionizen and heal a lot, which is really those are where you really want him to end because that's generally where you're safest. If he ends on heal, he's going to attack flame the next turn, and if he has a full health, he's going to survive it even without guarding. So you can just keep attacking through it and keep making progress. So yeah, all in all, that was a it started out looking like it was not going to be a good run, and then now <laughs> Gen 3 was just like, no, 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 this will be a good run. 
I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> so now I just gotta get rid of that nine minute loss in Gen 2, and we're looking in the 530s. Not a PB, but pretty close. A couple minutes behind it. But I'm I'm happy with how that turned out based on how it started. That was that was a fun run. It was a good run. Probably not a good idea to have done that with my current brain brain fog state from being sick the past few days, but all's well that ends well. <laughs> Five thirty five fifty while sick is good. So that's gonna do it for me tonight. Uh Tuesday I'm going to do some, uh, we're, we're bringing my daughter on to do some streaming because she wants to try it out and see what she, how she likes streaming because she's made some like basic YouTube videos before, but she wants to try out streaming. So we're going to bring her on. We're going to play some Mario Maker 2. So that'll be a good time. <laughs> nice and relaxing. No real goals. Just do some endless normal or something. So that's the plan for Tuesday. I don't really know what I'm doing Wednesday. I don't know if I'll start another game, do monster metal hunting in GBC Dragon Warrior 3, or do a Dragon Quest 3 speedrun, maybe, since it's been a while since I've done one of those. Yeah, Tuesday's Mario Maker 2. And then Wednesday is to be determined. Yeah. So thanks a lot, everybody, for hanging out. I had a, <laughs> had a great time chatting with everybody here, so... Thanks again for the GTs, Anatolu, Ash, Countess, Hactical. Anybody that whose names are blending in there. Planterus. I was like, I was like, I know there was another one in there. But everything was <laughs> I'm still fogged. I'm I'm amazed I made it through the room. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, everybody. Um hope you guys have a good night. And I will catch you guys on Tuesday. Y'all have a good one. Take care.